Oh no, I know why we're skipping. Hold up everybody, hold up, hold up. yet are we back yet are we back yet are we back yet i think we might be back yet i think we might be back in the room okay hi hopefully you haven't all left because um hello <laughs> uh yeah so my so basically <laughs> to explain what just happened um the way that my camera works for stream is it's actually my phone that i have uh usb'd to my computer um, and in so doing has, um, it allows me to use the picture from my phone on, on the stream. However, <laughs> however, okay, apparently only half a stream left. Good. Welcome back everyone else. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, um, yeah, so basically I use, I use my phone USB to the computer to, um, to do, to do strim stram. Um, but every once in a while, and it's always before I notice that this is a thing that it's going to do, it actually, um, my computer will try to connect to the Wi-Fi via my phone as a personal hotspot instead of, um, just being connected to the Wi-Fi itself, which is how we get all kinds of insane buffering issues because the internet is being filtered through an additional device unnecessarily. And so that's why stream sucked <laughs> when we started. Um, so for everyone who hasn't left because of the technical difficulties, thank you for still being present. I appreciate it. Um, cause that, was embarrassing to happen at the top of stream. Um, but also I was a little bit late getting, getting on today, uh, because I was, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes you just want to get the wording right for an email. Thank you, silly. Silly little guy cheered. X1. Havea bitch. Thank you so much for the Havea bitch. I appreciate it. I really do. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That does make me feel a little bit better. Anyways, um, so yeah, it was, technology was being a butt, but it's also something that I probably should have checked first. But why would I think to check that? Because it's stupid. Anyways. <laughs> um, but, uh, but <laughs> Philly says, I just heard, stream seems to be working. Oh. And then, and then it didn't. Yeah. Um, so apologies about that. Hello again. Um, anyways, Mark, Mark went away to, uh, to, to go get an eats in the meantime. Uh, so thank you so much again for the raid, Mark. Much appreciated. Have a lovely post stream shenanigan. Um, and I'm just going to see whether or not I can, oh, it, it won't let me do this. Sh okay. I'm just going to do another one of these shout outs for, for Marky Mark, because you should go give him a follow because he's a lovely human being and uh, a very fun person to watch play very cool games. Anyways. Ah, <sighs> such fun. Oh, I wonder if when stream restarted, did, did anybody get ads again? I wonder if anybody got ads again, because that is, that would be awful. And I do apologize if anyone got hit with like extra ads because that's not very nice. I was only live for like eight minutes. I don't want people to see that many. I don't, I wish you didn't have to see any ads, but here we are. Anywho, more pot noodles is Fox. Is it making you want pot noodles more? I don't know. Oh, speaking of, I was at the, uh, I was, was it Tuesday? Tuesday I was in the center of town and I was walking past the big Sainsbury's in the center of town and <laughs> this chat walked out and he had apparently purchased nothing but just like a, like an entire flat, like tray thing of pot noodles and balanced on top was a single packet of bourbon biscuits. And I'm like, oh man, like you know, glass houses and like, at, you're nourishing your body and that's good and important. And I'm glad that you're eating food, but also this cannot be doing anything good for your blood pressure, my dude. <laughs> Please occasionally consider having a vegetable or at least a multivitamin. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, jeez. And he didn't even look student-aged either. Anyway, but I wish him the best. I really do. And I get it. There is this one, there is this one instant yakisoba noodle that I absolutely adore. It's super easy to make and it's really delicious. But the best thing to do with it is to add a whole buttload of vegetables to it because otherwise it's very samey in texture. But if you add a whole bunch of vegetables to it, it is amazing. So, like, I get it. Anyways. Um... Uh, Fox says, is it morally okay for me to continue to use stream elements if I don't use its bot or donation page because alternatives are slim and or complicated? I don't know why that would be morally not okay. Um, it's a stream service. Is there, is there something bad that I don't know about it? Because, I mean, I don't use stream elements, so shrug, but, um, but I don't know. Anyways, um, pot noodle gives me heartburn, says Fox. Oh, that is a mood. But in fairness, existence gives me heartburn. I don't eat enough, I get heartburn. I eat too much, I get heartburn. I eat the wrong foods, I get heartburn. I eat the right foods, I get heartburn anyways. My body is very angry with me <laughs> and no solutions will work. Uh, well, I figured out what I want for dinner though, says so Seth. Hell yeah, I love that for you. Uh, hey, mature students exist. Oh, I know, I get it. Listen, I was one, I feel it. Um... Oh, oh, Fox. Oh, no. I understand your, uh, your conflict then. Oh, beans. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, if they're, if I, I don't really have any good, I don't know what you're using it for, but I don't know. <sighs> I'm not the right person to ask about alternatives if you're looking for alternatives, and if you're looking to stick with it, uh, that's entirely your call, I guess. Um... <coughs> That was a bunch of leeks to my cup noodles. Oh, yes. Delicious, delicious, delicious. I know. It's tricky. It's tough. It's tricky. And, and you know, I, like, this isn't something... I wouldn't e have even thought of, like, ooh, I wonder where this, com where this company is based for something like that. Because um, I'm overdue some streams. Yeah, you should stream, Fox. You should do some streaming. I would like to see it. That would be great. <laughs> Just had a text from my moderator slash boss asking if we need anything from the shops. I'm going to request one hug, please. Size extra squishy. Because I don't actually think there's anything we need from the supermarket, but I would love a, I would love a hug from my moderator slash spouse. So that's what I told him. Um, we do have, I had, I had a meeting this morning and it was the type of meeting where there, where there's coffee and tea and biscuits. Um, and I'm well aware of the fact that the department has already paid for the coffee, the tea, and the biscuits, so if there's leftover biscuits in the end, at the end of the meeting, and there's always leftover biscuits at the end of the meeting, I make sure that that biscuit basket is emptied, right? So, I now have, <laughs> but the thing is, not a lot of people came to this meeting, <laughs> so there were, like, eight packets of biscuits left, so I think I brought home, like, four of them. So I just now have all of these lovely little packets of, like, Viennese Whirls and Shortbread Crunch. I'm like, hell yeah, I love this for me. <laughs> biscuits. Uh, though my favorite biscuit at the moment, I know this is weird, I think my favorite biscuits are, like, a ginger nut for coffee and a rich tea for tea. Those are my dunk choices. Anyways, Eddie, Hello! Welcome in. How are you doing? It's lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome. Got a question for you. If you're having like an instant noodle food situation, what what ingredients would you use to zhuzh it up? Um, personally, I'm a big fan of, uh, I usually will throw in some bell pepper. If I've got cabbage, I'll throw in some cabbage, some carrot. Um, oh, what else? If I've got, um, if I have some tofu, I might even throw in some tofu. That's nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. This is, this is, this coffee is from like an hour and a half ago, so it is cold. But that's okay. I like iced coffee as well. Mmm. <sighs> Delightful. Anyways, I'm glad we, I'm glad we stumbled upon a question of the stream somehow <laughs> to do with what do you like to add to your noodles to zhuzh them up? Ooh, we've got boiled egg and sometimes onions, says Eddie. Ooh, very nice. Get some protein in there as well. I love it. 
my my person and I have been on a bit of a spring onion kick lately. I did not something that I normally keep in the house because they tend to end up just sitting in the uh, sitting in the uh, crisper drawer. And eventually, like, the last two or three of them start to kind of go a little bit wilty. But, man, it is really nice just taking a, like, you know, just to sort of, like, thinly slicing some spring oniony bits and sprinkling it on, like, at, just at the end of certain dishes um, to give it that sort of, like, fresh sweet onion flavor. Um, oh, man. Listen, I'm not even hungry. I had a... <laughs> I was in the center of town the other day and I happened to find a supermarket that was selling um, vegetarian pepperoni and I was like, oh. So I bought myself a single serve cheese pizza today and I put the veggie pepperoni on it. And honestly, it, I can tell that it's not real pepperoni, but you know, it's still kind of, it's got the spirit and I enjoy that. So uh, that was really nice, but <laughs> therefore I am very the opposite of hungry right now. Ha oh, beans. Anyways. <laughs> oh no, Eddie says I also just have food and now I'm getting hungry again. All right, shall I talk about something else? I can talk about something else. There are so many different things we can talk about. There are over 17 conversational topics I have stored in my databanks. Um, <coughs> my moderator slash spouse says, uh, that I can do. We okay for other bits? I think that, yes, we have many biscuit I stole from a meeting. Anyways, um, so there's a couple of things we need to do on this painting, this, this very painting today, the very thing that we are painting. Um, I want to, anywhere we want like texture, details, and shading, I want to try and do now. Thief! Thief says Eddie, no! No! This is, this is entirely, this is a very ethical choice of, of me to do. Um, because those, those foods had already been paid for. So if we don't, if we don't consume them, they just either get a, like, wasted, but they're prepackaged. So I imagine if we don't eat them, the caterers just take them back and we'll recycle them for other guests, even though they've already been paid for. So then they get paid twice for the same packet of biscuits, which just seems unfair to me. Therefore... One of my other colleagues, there was, so they, they have like the little setup of, if you've ever been in a situation that's catered in this way, you'll know that they have like a carafe of overbrewed, not very pleasant, but like passable coffee that you drink anyways, because it's free. Um, or tea, which you is passable because the hot water is inevitably not quite boiling anymore. Therefore the tea is kind of weak sauce and not the most pleasant, but, um, the tea is just a selection of tea bags that comes with, you know, sort of a carafe of hot water, right? So my colleague was like, oh, what sort of teas do they have? Ah, uh, English breakfast is okay. And just pinched and took the entire, like, I would say probably about eight bags of English breakfast tea individually wrapped and <laughs> took them back to their office. I'm like, yes. Yes, this is, I support these crimes. <laughs> We paid for those. I mean, I didn't pay for those, but, you know, some somebody, the, like, the host of the meetings paid for those. So, so, take them. Anyways, uh, Sen says, well, I narrowly avoid throwing all my pins on the floor, so I do not have to pick them up again. Oh, my goodness. So, I have lost a single glass-headed sewing pin. And I spent a good, like, hour searching for this thing in the carpet, in all of the, like, bits of fabric that I'm working on on my current project, all over my sofa. Cannot find it. It's gone somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere. And I'm sure at some point I am going to get a very unpleasant indication of where it is. But I don't know when that will be. Just at some point, it's going to just stealth its way, you know, sort of into my foot or something and oof, ouch. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Sen says, I have to take a break from crafting because my body demands sustenance. How annoying. But sustenance is important and also fun. Make it fun. Have something that brings you joy. There you go. Anyways, um, I have the pins I like in my pin cushion. Those are the backup pins. They're in a the little box, not pinned on anything. Interesting. You know, I don't, 
I don't actually have a pin cushion. Um, I just keep all of my pins in a little, in the little like box that they came in. But they're also all the same type of pin because I just bought a box of like a hundred multicolored glass headed pins, which are my favorite to work with because they have a nice big bright glass bead on the end, which tells me there is a pin here. It's very hard to not see as opposed to the ones that are just straight pins that just have sort of a, a flat metal top that's kind of, that kind of blends in a little bit more. I like something that's unmistakable because I thought to myself, well, I'll never lose any of them. Hmm. Narrator voice comes in now. They did. <laughs> One of my paint boxes is on the other side of the room, and my paint water container is uh, empty. So I'll be back in just a second. Enjoy. If you can hear any of the bird song from outside, it's very, very lyrical at the moment. One moment, please. Ah, hello. <laughs> Someone says, I shall see if I can find some food. Good, good. Go feed yourself. Have a lovely time. Thank you so much for the lurk. Much appreciated. Um, I need to figure out how I want to do these ding dang diddly darn gosh dang flippin' heck colored situations here. Um, the answer is a resounding, I don't know. Here are the paintings we're working with in case you're just joining us today. I've got... Ink Tense Paint Pan Pocket Set Palette Number Zero One from Derwent, um, which does come. It comes with this like pre-printed little sort of plasticky paper card that shows you all the colors. But I honestly, I think that the printing on these is just not quite faithful enough to not want to just DIY one. You know, because if I look at this dark plum, for instance, it, this tells me almost nothing about the color. Like, what is that? Is that brown? Is it black? It's so dark, I can't really see what it is. So, but when I paint it, I can see it's purple. So, I, I think it's nice that they provide these. It gives you the names of all of the colors, which is great, but it is not, it is by no means a replacement for swatching them out yourself. Always swatch out your paints when you get them because you want to be 100% sure what you're working with. How pigmented is it? Um, does it look like it says on the tin? Does it call itself tundra blue, but actually when you, when you paint it out, it really looks more like a green to you? Important. Fake colors, says Eddie. Exactly, exactly. Fake colors. So, so that's that. Um... So I've got these ones. I've got also my Shadow Black Gansai set, the Japanesque color, which I adore. I think they're really lovely. Um, for this piece, they would be far too atmospheric to use on their own because they're very, very muted. But in, to that end, I find them very useful to kind of blend with the ink tense ones for areas that I don't want to be quite so like bah, in your face, right? <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, so the little guy says, present tense, past tense, ink tense. Exactly. Exactly. I think it must be a play on intense, but I'm not sure. Josie, hello, hello, hello. Welcome and happy affiliate anniversary or whatever. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It is indeed my affiliate anniversary or whatever. I don't, I don't know what this, what this thing is, but it's a thing that, that Twitch wants to tell us about now. So, um, here we are. I did not realize that this was my affiliate versary. Um, I know when I started stream, but I guess I didn't like mark out like I'm um, I'm affiliate now. It just kind of <laughs> it just kind of happened, but I think because it's because it's relatively close to my actual like stream anniversary, which was back in January, because it's like I think I I guess it took just shy of two months to affiliate. That I, I don't, I've never, um, I've never honored that anniversary, uh, 
until now because I forgot when it was. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, but here we are. You know what? I'm happy that I'm an affiliate. It's nice. Um, <laughs> and so I think it's a nice thing to commemorate. So yeah, cool with that. Anyways, um, Josie says, that's so cute as mine is Sunday. Ooh, happy almost affiliate anniversary for Sunday, Josie. That's rad. Uh, I don't know if my actual first stream was, says Josie. Oh, goodness gracious. I can tell you mine was January 22nd. Um, I don't know why. Because <laughs> it's been many years. But here we are. Um, but yeah, I hope you're having a lovely Thursday. Hope you're having a good one. It is fantastic to see you. Now I need to figure out what the heck I'm doing with these bookshelves. Um... <laughs> Why do you know, says Josie. I think, I think for some reason it just, it just cemented itself in my brain as a date of import. Um, my first stream was, oh, interesting. Um, no, I think it was, um, I think my first stream was as good as you can expect a first stream to be, but, um, uh, the sound quality was garbage because I had this, I had this headset that, um, was, oh, it just was not the, like the microphone was just not fit for purpose at all. Um, it was very, it was an incredibly hot mic and the quality was the, like the sound quality was just quite bad out of it. Um, and I didn't realize how, like to what extent it was quite bad until I listened back to uh the VOD and I was like oh god no no <laughs> no 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 uh Josie says do you know my first stream day because that would be nice you can if you if you scroll back far enough through your um analytics in like your stream dashboard on Twitch um if you go back far enough, presumably you'll reach a point where, where no streams are happening and you can figure out which one was the first one based on it being the time that the streams start, uh, uh, like statistics start appearing in the little feed. Um, that's probably the easiest way to find it. <laughs> but uh, my first stream was a Friday morning stream. I think I think like four friends turned up, which felt really good. And I played the first chapter of the, um, 1990s FMV Sherlock Holmes video game, which was, uh, not very good, but also incredibly fun. But also it was not very good. I mean, like, I was great. The game is, uh, it's, it's of its time, um, of an FMV game of that sort. But, um, it's one of those ones where, like, okay, I solved the mystery, but I missed, like, talking to what, like, I know exactly how the crime was committed, but I missed out talking to, like, one specific person or going to one specific location to get all of the information, and so when I present it to the judge being like, hello, my name's Sherlock Holmes, and I have the solution to this case, the judge is like... I don't think so. You should go back and look for both clues. It's just, it was very, um... These games are very limiting in some ways, I found. Anywho. Um, Fox says, I can't remember my first stream because technically it was dog shit in years before I took it seriously. Ah, I see, I see. Was it just like a little test? Was it just a little test or was it, um... Or was it just a long time ago? I don't know. Anyways, uh, maybe I should do that, says Josie. Hell yeah. Just out of curiosity. It's a, it's a nice milestone to celebrate, certainly. Anyways, um, so this needs some shading and stuff. So I thought I might attempt to do that in places. See if we can get some of that information down. See if I can figure out how to do it correctly. Uh, Fox is not even... I was streaming me trophy hunting in... Sca oh, hello? Hello? Sorry, a, a breeze is blowing through. Oh, for heaven's sake, that's why I'm so cold. Sally, thank you very much for the lurk. Have a very good lurk. Thank you, thank you. That's why I'm so cold. Moderator slash spouse left the window wide open because somebody was doing airbrushing last night and the window's just been wide open ever since. I can't imagine how many spiders have crawled into the house. Yay! 
<sighs> Anyways, streaming directly from my PS4. I don't, I know, I know that people do it, but I can't imagine streaming directly from my, like, console. But I think, apart from Switch games, and I've had mixed results streaming Switch games uh, in as much as they have been known to cause me technical difficulties. Uh, I've only ever streamed things from my PC. Or uh, ga games from the PC, which is a little bit more powerful, and and um, and art from the laptop, which just needs to connect to my phone camera. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Cannot even imagine. Fox says, on PS, it sucks, which is a shame because it would be more relaxing for me. Aw, oh, jeez. Aw, oh, jeez. I think at this point, despite the fact that, like, we have... Honestly, more more so than anything, we have an Xbox games machine, and I think the thing that we use it for the most is watching YouTube videos through the Xbox app on you on on X, Xbox YouTube. Um, and occasionally, my moderator slash spouse might play some like Red Dead Redemption too. And I think he experimented with playing Starfield when that was new and then got bored of it really quickly. <laughs> and now, oh, what's he, what's he trying to play now? But it's not, it's not behaving with his PC because he needs it. Maybe, but I, wh whatever that is, I don't think it's available on the Xbox. I don't know. But anyways, we, we have a games console and we rarely actually use it to play games. <laughs> Uh, Josie says, okay, apparently I do know my stream anniversary. It's this Sunday. Happy almost stream anniversary. Congratulations. I don't know when my affiliate anniversary is then. Apparently, Twitter, uh, not Twitter, Twitch will let you know. Because I didn't know when my affiliate anniversary was. And, uh, <laughs> I got a notification from Twitch when I, when I popped on to go live today being like, celebrate your affiliate anniversary. And I was like, oh, that's a thing. Okay, cool. <laughs> Neat. Love that for me. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, grabbing some nice shadowy, shadowy colors on my shadowy paintbrush to add some shadowy shading to these here little bookshelves. Hoping that'll go okay. Anyways, four years this summer, says Fox. Damn. Four years for me, too, says Josie. Damn. Um, it's three. I hit three in January. So I am just, I am but a little stream baby. I'm a little stream bee compared to y'all. <laughs> I play many games, says Fox. I prefer playing on my PS5 because it's just easier to sit back on my bed. Ah, nice. Nice, nice. I like to, um... So I have this little thing called called a good old attention deficit. I like to play, if I'm not streaming, I like to play games while I'm also probably watching a video in the background um, or interacting with my moderator slash spouse who's maybe watching a video that is on in the background. <laughs> And, uh, and so for that, typically I will like play a game on my, my, my lappy top. Um, and then we'll stick a video on the TV. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, Fox says, I wonder what event could have possibly led us to start streaming exactly four years ago. Hmm. No idea. I, I do not know of whence you speak. Uh, oh my God. It's literally like pretty much bang on four years ago. Hot damn. Um, I put shows on my PC, which is right next to my TV. Ah, oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is perfect. Love that for you. Hell yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be playing, if I don't want to bother sticking the, the big TV on, I'll be playing like Celeste on my laptop and then pull up a video on my phone. That's super normal. <laughs> The only reason that my anniversary is four years and not three years is that I am an extremely shy plum and did not think I could stream for like a solid year. <laughs> I was like, I, maybe I should start streaming. No, nobody likes me and I don't have any friends. So I probably shouldn't. Oh, but I really want to, but no, no, I probably shouldn't. Oh, but I have a normal job. But oh. anyways, <laughs> and then I just did and the rest is history. Anywho. Ah. 
Anyways, um, I'm about to actually paint in some shadows. Can you believe to learn? I can't promise they'll be perfect, but they will be existent. Mmm, delightful. Anyways, uh, Fox is currently debating uh, playing some more Bellatro or Tangle Tower and sticking around, or set up the Netflix and go back to BEG3. Well, you know what my vote is. You should hang out here <laughs> while I paint. Help hold me publicly accountable for creating artworks. Anyways, but no pressure, obviously. Do whatever you feel like. Um, okay. Shadows. At what is the shape that the shadow should be? Will I get it right? Probably not. But I'm trying. There we go. There's one. Hooray. That was relatively painless. Should, should some of the, the top of the book possibly be in shadow as well? Probably, yeah. If this doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. <laughs> if I play BG3, I might have the spoons to do a stream this evening. Well, that's entirely up to you. I have not played any of the Baldur Gate. I've seen my moderator slash spouse play a little bit of it. It looked fun. Um, but also I saw spiders. But also I'm given to understand that the spiders are not... Um, the spiders are optional. But knowing me, I would like... I would uh, goof myself into having to interact with spiders anyways because I, I do the wrong thing. Um... Because it me. And I'm a silly sausage. Oh, you'd appreciate the little guy I drew today, says Fox. Fox, you know what to do. Pop that bad boy in the Discord. We have a Discord. If you want to share your artworks, uh, there is a place to do it. We love to see it. I know I love to see it. I love to look at the things that y'all get on with. It's, uh, it's very fun. And uh, it's a cool place. It's a quiet place, but we have fun there. Um, you can show us your artwork. You can let us know when you're live. If you stream, you can, um, also find out when I'm live because I stream. And isn't that the most exciting thing for you? It's probably, it's probably not, but you know, Hey, <laughs> anyways, um, just noticing a couple of bits that I need to fill in there. And here. Okay. Anyways. Um, let's think. wait, you stream says Josie since when, how did I not know? Surprise. <laughs> Shasta. Thank you very much for the happy affiliate anniversary. It has been, can you believe to learn three years? Also welcome in. Hope you're having a lovely Thursday. It's lovely to have you. Hope you're having a good day and welcome on in. I said all of those things like three times. You get it. Anyways, <laughs> turnip says Sammy streams. What? I find that meme far too funny. It is a good meme. It is a good meme. Tee hee. Tee hee. Anywho. Yes, believe it or not, sometimes I like to pop onto the old twitchy do and uh, do a little, do a little strim stram. Um, such as literally at this very moment. Whoever would have thought or imagined such a thing. Um, can you believe to learn to know? Right. I really, I want, I, I would love to have, like, can you believe to learn to know on, like, a sweatshirt or something. I love that stupid phrase. Dang, I thought I was watching Jerma. I don't know who Jerma is, but, um... I'm pretty sure that's not my name. <laughs> but I mean, if it makes it easier, I guess you can call me Jerma. I just do not... I do not guarantee that I will, I will answer to it because I will forget. So maybe don't do that. I don't know. Anyways, don't listen to me. I'm stupid. Dun, dun, dun. Do, do, do. La la la. I feel like maybe this, 
There might be some shading happening in here, so I'm going to make it a little darker than that other bit. Some of this I think I'm going to need a second layer on because it's, uh, it's just fading right into the original color, which is not working for me. I'd like to be able to see it. So here we go again. I can't believe it. I've been live for under an hour and I'm actually getting work done. What? What? That's impossible. I know. I know. Hard to believe. But here we are. Okay. Um, do -do -do. There's a little bit of, there's a little bit of just a little white artifact there that's going to bother me if I don't fix it. I'm not sure how those ended up there, but, oh, never mind. It's blending in now, so... Whatever. I think the paint just did something weird. Sometimes they do, and that's okay. We just paint over them. And we consider that part of the beauty of it. The imperfections are what make, the, make it cool. I'm gonna go check on my kitties, says Fox. Please, please tell them, give them my fondest regards. Tell them I said hello. Uh... Josie says, Sammy equals Germa confirmed. I still don't know what that is, but thank you. Is that good? I don't know. Anyways, art on an art stream, says Eddie. I don't know if I signed up for the right thing here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I am, I am, you know what? Here I am taking accountability for the fact that I'm producing art on an art stream. I know that's not what anybody expects. Um... And it's not fair to you to have to experience that. And I'm so sorry um, that that it happened. Um, anyways, I don't know either, says Josie. I feel a little bit less alone. Thank you. It's probably someone who has 20... Oh, hello. Here we go. Uh, Jeremy Elbertson, born September 22nd, 1985. Known online as Germa985 or Germa is an American live streamer. Oh, well, there you go. I'm not American. First thing. Um, YouTuber and voice actor known for his elaborate and borderline surreal live streams on Twitch. I see. Still never heard of them, but I suppose I could be doing some sort of long performance art piece here. And yes, I am, in fact. As you can tell by my accent, American. <laughs> Anywho. Hey, Mel, welcome on in. How's it going? Lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful, magnificent Thursday. I'm sorry that my energy is quite so Tigger-esque at the moment. I haven't even had that much coffee. But I did have a lot of carbs because I had pizza for lunch. That's probably what's happening. <laughs> my brain is like, oh, you gave me too much food. Oh, pretzels, now I'm going to have to do the old-timey mid-Atlantic accent for the next five minutes. Oh, jeez, it's been a few weeks. I wonder if I remember how to do it. Anyways. <laughs> and now the viewers disappear in droves as I, as I do a weird, weird voice and good, good times and wonderful, fun things. Good, lovely. Love to see it. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. I know that's not what the word sip it means, but I just think a sip it sounds like it should be a very little sip. So that's what, so that's how I do and if you don't like it, well, tough biscuits, frankly. Ah. Wonderful. Mm. I'll be perfectly honest with you, chat. This doesn't happen to me very often as a connoisseur of this specialty coffee world, but um, this is one that I got from a, from a roastery that I thought, you know, honestly, I think I was just, I was roped in. By their interesting, uh, they had quite interesting graphic design on their packaging, and I thought, oh, doesn't this look, doesn't this look fun? Um, it, it, I don't know, it had all those very millennial-friendly shapes that I was very, very fond of, and then, and then I had it, and I'm like, you know, it's just, it's just chock full of mid to me. And I don't love that for me, I, tr truly, I don't. I'm gonna take a sip of my tea. Because I think my tea is superior to d today to my to my coffee, so I'm 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 sipping this down. I'm drinking it obviously because it's fine, but um, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. It's just not very interesting of a beverage. And personally, as as, as an enjoyer of, of of good things and pleasant beverages, I do like a beverage that is you know if I'm if I'm brewing coffee at home, I want it to be nicer than 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 something that I. 
might get as the free coffee at a meeting. But this... Eh. It's just, it's just not very, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's terrible. I think it's a perfectly adequate cup of coffee, but it's just adequate if you take my meaning. So, disappointed, I would say. Just a little bit disappointed. Anywho, Chocobo, hello, welcome in. Chocobo says, evening, Sammy and gang. Happy and aff affiliate. Hap. Can I speak these words? <clears throat> Happy affiliate anniversary to me. Thank you very much indeed. I do appreciate it. It's been some years that I've apparently been one of them. Mel says, oh, it's a delightful seersucker afternoon. Oh, how wonderful. Love that for you. Now then. Also, happy spring, everyone. It's springtime, apparently. Well, certainly, certainly here in this, in this neck of the woods, the thingies are in bloom and the sun is still out when I'm streaming. So that's very, uh, that that's an indicator that 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 good good springtimey things are happening. The air feels nice, and I went outside wearing nothing but a, a trousers and a, a shirt and a cardigan, and I didn't have a coat on, and that felt good as well. That being said, my my dear father from back in Canada sent sent me uh sent me by you know sort of carrier pigeon or whatever whatever postal service we used back in the old timey mid Atlantic accent days. Attention. Twitch user Sammy Oh, for Cash. heaven's sakes. Hello, Shoppers. Bill. Welcome on in. Hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much for the raid, Bill. I do appreciate it. Truly, I do. Lovely to see you all. <laughs> Welcome in, Cartoons. How are you doing? Bill, thank you very much. What did you get up to today? How was your stream? I would love to hear all about it. Very much I would. Chaos Tune, hello. Welcome in. Thank you very much for the lovely, lovely raid messages. Let me get a shout out for, uh, for Bill in the chat, if it will let me do that. I would love to do it. In case you're wondering why I sound so very, very interesting, it's because... Uh, on, on this channel, there is a uh, channel point redeem that requires me for five minutes to speak in an old-timey mid-Atlantic accent, which I am attempting to do right now. This is a shout-out to Bill. If you're not familiar with the work of Bill, please, 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 go give him a follow because he's a wonderful, wonderful human being. And oh my goodness, Bill, your artwork is wonderful and lovely to see, and I love to see it. Truly, I do. <laughs> Anywho. Um, do let me know. What were you up to on your stream today? What did you get up to? What did you do? What sort of wonders did you, did you produce? Did you make things? Did you play things? I'd love to hear all about it. Truly, I would. And for anyone who's new here and is still here, welcome on in. Hello. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Twitch user Sammy Kelch. I'm a variety streamer. I stream art streams on Mondays and Thursdays, and I stream cozy game streams on Fridays and sometimes on Sundays, and I do promise we've got a Sunday stream coming up at some point in the fairly near future. Definitely we will. Anywho. Lux, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? It's wonderful to see you, my friend. Just wonderful. Truly, it is just marvellous. Anywho. Cannot stay is working, but had to say hello and hello to you too. Thank you very much for stopping in. Uh, Bill says, I was drawing animation storyboards, but now I want to be talking all timey as well. Well, my five minutes is up, so maybe it's your turn. Anyways, uh, but thank you again for, uh, for giving us a rate. As always, if you want to pay an art tax, feel free. If you've got anything, whether it was what you were working on today or like your Instagram or whatever, feel, feel, bleh, I cannot speak. <laughs> But feel free to uh, whisper me a little link and I would love to share it with the chat. For anyone who uh, has just come in on the stream, um, this is what we're working on today. We are maybe, fingers very crossed, finishing this piece that has taken 400 years. <laughs> it's taken so long to produce this thing, but we're getting there. Um, but my, fin my finished work looks, uh, well, it varies, but I'm a traditional artist working primarily in watercolor type stuff. This is the most recent thing that I posted over on my Instagram, in case you're curious. Um, this was just a little, this was just a little thing that I knocked up last night because it was, uh, it was a birthday. And so I wanted to, I wanted to express a little birthday greeting. <laughs> Chocobos, is the stream choppy for anyone else? That's probably my internet being a butt, um, so I do apologize for that. Um, but, uh, this is a little birthday piece that I, that I did for somebody, uh, last night. Uh, in fact, I painted, <laughs> I painted this on my sofa using one of these, um, like water brushes, which I've never used successfully before, but it actually worked out quite well. It's one of these brushes where, let me, okay, let me pop back in here. Um, it's one of these brushes where it opens up, 
it's a nice sort of like travel piece to have because it opens up. You fill this chamber with water and then close it back up and then you can just paint with it. And, you know, you like, you take your brush and you, you, you dip and you paint and you dip and you paint. Um, and if you need, if you need to like re-wet the brush or like get, get some water on the paint or the palette or whatever, you just give it a little squeeze until a drop of water comes out and then you get back to work. It's very cool. Um, they are, they can be a little bit fiddly to work with, but, um, but absolutely, um, I'm kind of liking it. I will probably end up using the water brush more, um, cause I didn't have the studio last night cause my moderator slash spouse was doing some airbrushing and that's a lot less mobile of an activity than, um, a little bit of watercolor <laughs> painting. So, uh, so I decided to do some work from the sofa, but it was a, a significant birthday of someone cool. So I wanted to, I wanted to do them a little, a little painted piece since that's what I did, uh, last night. <laughs> Anyways. Um, but, uh, yeah. Ooh. Ah, sweet. Okay. I've got a link from Bill. I'm going to pop, I'm going to pull that up so we can have a look and check out some of Bill's very cool stuff. Let me, there we go. Let me tee this all up and, ooh. Okay. Okay, I want to share this because I saw this piece last night and I was like, oh damn, this is great. I lo look at all these beautiful people. I love them so much. I love them so much. You're, you're, you're like, your people are so expressive and so unique. And I love your style. I really do. I think it's so fun to see. Uh, I'm having too much fun with characters and art chance. They're so good. So good though. I love these. I love all these people. I want to know what all their stories are. Especially... Especially this, this one, like, this one ginger person in, in the center having a conversation. I wonder what they're talking about. I love them with my whole heart. And then check this out. Hello. There are so many things happening here and I love all of them. This is so good. Oh, man. I love everything about this. It's fantastic. Oh, my goodness. There's more. I didn't see there was more. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Anyways, as I said, if you're not following Bill, do go give him a follow. I'll pop a link to your um, Instagram in the... <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, but I love it. This little chicken doing a toot. <laughs> oh my god. And if you don't know, Bill does amazing like caricatures and stuff as well, which are just, just fantastic. I love them so much. Um, I loved seeing when you did that event a few weeks ago, all of the caricatures that came out of that were so good. Um, what was I, I was about to do something and now I've completely forgotten what it was I was going to do. Oh no. Oh yeah. I was going to pop, uh, this, this little linky do into the chat as well. If you want to go check out Bill's Instagram, you can do that as well. And I will get another shout out for you in the chat also. There we go. Okay. There we go. There's another shout out for Bill. So again, yes, if you are not following Bill, go do that. Bill is very cool and does very cool artwork and works on some really, really awesome stuff. Um, and is also a very cool person. Uh, that was Emerald City Comic Con. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, love that. That was so, that looked like such a fun weekend. And I'm so glad that you shared all of that work with us as well. Cause, um, they were very cool. <laughs> love that. Absolutely love that. I have not, I have not done like a Comic Con type event in, uh, Honestly, like years. Honestly, I think it's been over 10 years. I'm just, I'm just too shy. <laughs> I am genuinely too, like, I am such a shy plum that I'm just like, oh, maybe. I was approached by a Comic Con locally, um, a few months ago, uh, asking if I wanted to do, if I wanted to set up a table there. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> but that's partly because I haven't done one in years. So I don't have any of like, I don't have any of the sort of setup that I'd need for it. And I, I would love to do that, but I'm also just a really shy plum. So I'm really amazed by <laughs> my people who can actually like go places and interact with people and do things in, in human person. And I'm just like, mm. please, please like my artwork, but also don't perceive me. And yet here I am. And yet here I am live on the internet shouting at y'all. I don't know how. Anyways. Um, <coughs> we'll get on at the crows. It's so much fun, says Bill. I would love to. I would love to. Thank you for the encouragement. What? What? Dark? What? Dark? 
<laughs> what are you doing? Oh hell yeah. Jep underscore just subscribed. Thank you so very much for gifting five subs. Dark, what are you doing? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's very sweet. Oh hell yeah. Clawfus3 just subscribed. Thank you for gifting subs too. Let's see if I can read this correctly. Thank you for gifting subs to Step and uh, Cleofus oh, hell yeah. and Long, Long Island, Island Ice, Ice Tech. Tech just subscribed. And Phantom Breeze and Smashly. Thank you so very much indeed. Um, Phil says thank you again, Sammy. Uh, have a great stream. We've got to run. Yes, by all means, oh, Phil, yeah. go do Phantom all of your post stream Breeze activities. Go decompress. Go get something to eat. Go look after yourself. And thank you once again for the raid. I really appreciate it. You are a lovely person and a fantastic artist, and it is always oh, lovely yeah. to see you. Uh, they thank you. Thank just you. subscribed. <laughs> and Dark, thank you very much for the five subs. Thank you so much. It's very, very, very kind. Very kind indeed. Uh, having an emotion. Causing a commotion. Inside my emotions. Everything's okay. Thank you very much. Um, much appreciated. Uh, and th is that Mel? Are those kiwis eating those strawberries? Because that's adorable. Strawberry, I mean, strawberry and kiwi is a well-known, delicious, delicious, and delightful combination. So I'm glad that the kiwi's enjoying the strawberries. Tee hee, tee hee. Dark says it's Mel's fault. She alerted me to you're having a special event. Apparently, it's my affiliate anniversary. I had no idea <laughs> until I went to start stream this afternoon, and Twitch was like, "It's your affiliate anniversary. Have this fun emote." And I'm like, "What?" It is? I didn't know. <laughs> I'll take blame, says Mel. Mel! Also, thank you. More heart hands. Apparently, I'm given to understand that, like, the kids these days don't make heart hands like this. With, like, their, their sort of fingers and then their thumb down here. They go, like, they go like this, I think? Which hurts my joints. So, it must be a young people thing. Um... Or, to be honest, I've never really had a lot of joint flexibility. Um, or, like, I've never had any flexibility in my body. I'm a semi-flexible human being in terms of, like, you know, opinions or um, that kind of thing. Though, that being said, you know, also autism. So if you change plans on me at the last minute and I don't have an opportunity to adjust, I will have a minor meltdown. Um, but, you know, apart from that, I'm a very, I'm a very easygoing, flexible individual, although I may be having, like, a panic on the inside. Uh, but, um, but also, like, I, I, I did yoga very dedicatedly for years, and I still do yoga, like, once or twice a week now. Um, I have zero flexibility in my body, um, so despite years and years of practice, I cannot do any of the more advanced poses because my body will simply not allow it. It's just like, no, you cannot bend your leg that way. It will not, you cannot bend your arm that far. Your spine is not meant to twist in this way. I'm just, uh... And it used to, I used to read like yoga journal magazine. This is, this is how seriously I was into yoga. I was reading yoga journal magazine and I would just get real frustrated because they was all, they would always have like this like willowy, you know, tall, thin person on the cover in like, you know, maximum pigeon pose. And I'd be like, how? It's not fair. I know like yoga is not remotely supposed to be about comparing yourself to other people or, you know worrying about like your level of achievement that's not what it's for at all but there was still a certain frustration in like you know I've been doing this for so long and I can't really do it very well I'm just forever mediocre at yoga whatever that means um and I, I don't I, I don't I didn't let it bother me and I don't let it bother me you know because when when I'm doing yoga it is for for no one but me it no one is seeing me doing like you know cow pose on literally on my bed doing downward dog and trying not to fall off of my mattress because <laughs> I have no chill um but uh that is purely for me 
and I'm not concerned about being the best. I've never been a competitive person anyways, but, uh, but yeah, there's that, there, there, there used to be that sort of like, you know, I've been doing this for so long and I just will never be good at it. That's just going to have to be okay. Um, Dark is doing a lurk. Thank you very much for the lurk, Dark. Much appreciated. And thank you again for the, for the lovely gifts. I'm going to take a sip of my tea because I've gone and given myself a headache. So, mm. Delicious. Delightful. Lovely jubbly. Okie dokie. So. Which bits do I want to be darker? Which bits need to be a little bit shaded? I think we've done some of them now. Um, oh, I just dotted some paint where I didn't mean to. Let me grab a tissue. Um, there we go. Anyways. And I do apologize if I'm a little bit snuffly as well. I just have a bit of a snuffy nose today and it's, um, it's just doing that. <laughs> so I think that's just gonna, uh, unfortunately continue, continue to happen. Okie dokie. Um, I think possibly, okay, I'm going to water this down just a little bit because I want it to be quite light. I think I actually probably going to be a little bit of shadow falling on these guys as well. Um, and possibly also onto this one, just like that. Okay. And then any of, any of these ones over here, maybe a little shadow cast onto them, but very, very lightly, just so lightly that nobody but me will ever notice. <laughs> Two Two important news, says Fox. Um, I hope I read that in the correct tone. Uh, one, the little guys po post in the Discord. Rad, gonna pop a link to the Discord. I cannot put the Discord onto the stream or I will break the internet. And I know this because I have tried and it overburdens my computer. By which I mean I am running like as few applications and browser tabs as I can possibly get away with on here. Otherwise the stream will grind to a halt and potentially stop. So, <laughs> anywho, Chocobo says, uh, to be fair, you've basically been sick slash having the, the sniffle since I joined about three months back. This is true. I just never kind, I kind of never got better. Um, and again, I do apologize for that, even though there is nothing to apologize for about being sick. That's just, that's just a state of being you sometimes find yourself in and that's okay. Um, but presently I do. So there we go. Anyways. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Shading like a champ. Kind of guessing where I should put it. But that's okay too. Tra la la la. And I'm in a canoe. Anyways. Um, what was that? I don't know. I don't know. Don't. Please don't ask me. Um, anyways. Right. Now, for anyone who's recently come in the chat, I've got a question for the stream. And my question of the, the day for the stream is this. My question for the stream is if you were to have an instant noodle situation and you wanted to zhuzh it up with some additional ingredients, what are your zhuzh ingredients of choice? Anyways, second piece of news from Fox. They say, I was pulling apart knots from Scout's fur gently as she struggles with it a lot. Oh, that is a mood. I feel that. I, you know what? Until I found, until I found the child-sized uh, hedgehog shaped tangle teaser from boots i was also very fur not situation with my hair tangle i commiserate with your cat is what i'm trying to say um and not only was she very good and let me do it a while for a while but she even licked me during the process like she was saying thank you oh no that's cute Oh no, that's cute. <laughs> I love that. Mm. 
What an absolute sweet pea. Uh, Chocobo says, no, definitely no apologies needed. Just hope you get better at some point because that must be annoying. You know, I would love, I would love to get better. Truly, I would. That would feel real good. It's probably exacerbated by stress. <laughs> Yay. Mushrooms and spring onions says, now, very savory and sprightly and sounds very comforting indeed. Chocobo says, spring onions and boiled egg, probably. Maybe some ham if I'm feeling fancy. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Very nice. And uh, Fox is right, and we know Scout, she is a grump. Oh, bless. What an absolute sweet pea. Very much so, genuinely. Um, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Come on, brain. Come on, brain. You got this. You got this, you little, you little silly sausage. Um, <coughs> what was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, I like whatever vegetables I have in the house, basically. Um, Bill Guys and Whip. Sweet. I shall check it out when, oh, I'm going, I'm going frame ready. I shall check it out when stream is done because I will kill the computer. Um, just genuinely opening Discord right now will kill my computer. <laughs> but thank you. I shall check it out uh, when I am done. Um, okay, gonna lurk down while making dinner, says Chocobo. Have a lovely, lovely dinner, and thank you very much indeed for the lurk as well. Uh, what was I gonna say? I need to, I need to continue shading. I need to continue shading things in. That's what I need to do. So, do I want to just pop some little, some little bits of shadow here, sort of behind these little tendrils or fronds or whatever you call them of plant? Because, ooh, I think I shall. Just to give it a little bit of gravitas. Don't you know? Love a bit of gravitas. Love a bit of gravitas for lunch, you know, like with a nice bit of crisp bread and maybe a cucumber salad. No, wait, that's gravidlock, sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Please, t please don't unfollow me. <laughs> hey, Nia, welcome on in. How's it going? I just made a really bad word joke, so uh, if if everyone unfollows in droves, I understand. Um, I had I had a vague idea. I try not to set like I try not to set like um, not guidelines, but I I try not to set like goals for myself as like oh you know like my follower goals or whatever because I just feel like I'm gonna set myself up for disappointment if I don't reach them. But I had a vague notion that wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be fun if I hit four figures by my fortieth birthday? Um, and that's at the end of May. And I'm just just shy of eight hundred and fifty, so I feel like it's unlikely. Also, follower number genuinely doesn't mean anything, um, so I'm not super concerned about it. I just like nice round numbers. <laughs> I appreciate it. This is Jay. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate you. Also, hello, Alva. Welcome in. How's it going? It is very nice to see you, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. Hello, hello. I hope you're having a good Thursday. Ah, cheese, pizza. Okay. Um... What other little shadowy do's do I want to do? So I've got the little shadows on this, this side of the thing. And maybe if I just kind of... Uh, mm, uh, hmm. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I think I can probably plop a little... A little shadow under... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna assume that there's like a light here sort of behind these guys. And then... So that I can... So that I have a little benchmark for kind of shading them in a little bit. It's not a super bright light, so it's not a super bright shadow, but, um, not bright shadow, but like a super dark shadow. But it's just a little bit of a shadow. Just so it feels like they don't exist in a situation where, you know, there are no shadows because I've seen... I've seen situations in real life where there are no shadows and it's real creepy. Not that I always bother shading and everything and, and sort of thinking about lighting anyways. Sometimes you just want your colors to be flat and that's fine. Um, but I've, I've been quite enjoying 
actually doing a bit more a bit more with my shading lately and I think it looks cool and I like it but if I'm gonna do these tiny guys I'm gonna need to switch to from my little brush to my even more little brush because otherwise it's too large. Turnip, thank you so much for the lurk. Thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> Fox says, I have to stop myself from overshading, except I don't. It is very, it is very tempting and very easy to just keep futzing, you know? And I think I used to always, you know, I think one of the, one of my limitations as an artist at least used to be that I would, I would call something done as quickly as I could consider it kind of done. Um, and, um, uh, what was I going to say? I, yeah, I would consider it done as soon as I could consider it kind of done and just do no futzing whatsoever on anything at all. Just like, what is the bare minimum amount of effort I can put into this piece and consider it a done piece? I don't know if it's just because my attention span was kind of like that, but, um, <laughs> but that's what I used to do a bit more. And now I'm like, no, nah, no, nah. you know, I kind of, I kind of do want to futz actually. It's kind of nice to futz a little bit. This is, this is not a futz free zone. It's okay. It's okay to futz here. I don't, I don't, but again, I don't want to, I don't want to overwork it. I don't want to over futz. I don't want to futz too much, but just, just an appropriate amount of futz I think is fine. So get a little, a little shadow just under his chin here, a little bit where the hand is. Normally I would put a little shadow sort of where their nose is to kind of shade in the, the nose sticks out from the face. Um... Uh, maybe just a little bit over on this side here. It's a little between the shoesies there. I'm, I've done a bit under that hand, and then the bit like right next to. Right next to that that arm. And uh, I think that'll probably do it for this guy. Okay, you. A little bit there, a little under the scarfy do. Over here, maybe right next to that, just, just under the hand, this little vesty do is. Maybe a little under the waistband as well. All of this is going to get lined over, and none of this is going to be seen. It literally does not matter, because it is too tiny for me to get meaningful shades happening here. It is too tiny. <laughs> uh, which is entirely my fault for drawing things quite so tiddle, but you know, I also like drawing tiddle things so tough. Um, tiddle is nice. Just gonna maybe just kind of do that. But I, I don't, I also don't, you know, this is, we're, we're indoors in a fairly well-lit bookshop. So I don't want the, I don't want the shadows to, here to be too strong either. I was debating whether I wanted to put any shadows kind of like under the bookshelves, but I don't know. But I'm going to let that, I'm going to allow that to marinate for just a minute while I do a quick BRB. So, uh, a BRB, friends. What's up, gamers? How's it going? <laughs> I'm back. Hello. Um, let's go back to, let's go back to this. Hello. Uh, <coughs> some things happened while I was away, chat. Some very exciting developments. My moderator slash spouse is home. How exciting is that? I'm so happy. I missed them so much. And I'm, I, I just get real happy when they're home because they're my person. I'm sorry, what, babe? Uh, th thank, thank you. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Um, so that didn't work. Um, but never mind. Um, I tried to drop some shading onto these guys, but I think they're just a little bit too teensy and it didn't quite work. But well, we'll get some line weight in there as well. And hopefully that'll help. Um, Beth? No post. No post. 
Sorry, my mod was just asking if there was post. There was no post. So I let them know. Anyways. Um. Yeah, what was I going to say? There is, uh. I'm assuming this isn't just a me thing and is an other artist's also thing. But I don't know. Because I don't live inside anyone's head but my own. Um. But, um. You get, you get that thing where, where you don't, you don't ever exist in just like a chill state where you're just vibing and you're like, yeah, my, it's fine. I'm fine. It's all fine. You know, like who cares? It's all good. Um, no, you don't, you don't get that. You don't get that. You get, I am feeling radical confidence in my skills and abilities as an artist and I feel really good about myself and I feel really good about what I'm producing and I'm feeling really positive about what I'm working on right now. And it oscillates between that and, wow, I guess everything I do is garbage and everyone hates me and I should just, I don't know, stop making things because the world would be a better place if I just gave up. And both of these are probably kind of wrong. Um, but personally, my mind does not know how to exist in a middle ground between the two of them. It goes, I'm actively working on something. And if I feel like it's going well, I'm like, confidence. I feel good about this. I think I might actually be a reasonably good painter. This is great. I'm having a good time and I feel super inspired and wonderful. And then I post it and I'm like, well... Guess I'll die. <laughs> There's no middle ground. Yay. This is the Artist Experience Neurodiverse Edition. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Wholeheartedly. 100%. Love that for us. Oh, beans. Anywho. Um, also, anything that makes you second guess. Anything at all that makes you second guess. I remember I had... I had a comment from someone, I think I've, t I've discussed this on stream before, but I'll bring it up again. Um, I had an unsolicited, anonymous piece of advice from someone who was like, your original characters are not going to bring in any interest. You should focus on fan art because it's cute and people will like it better because it's already got a built-in audience. And I did nothing but fan art for literal years for so long that I forgot why I don't do my original, why I don't do like original works. Um, and, and I, st I started again when I realized that I had been working to this, like I had fully internalized this idea that no one's going to be interested in your original works. You should just focus on doing fan art. But I'd completely forgotten where that advice came from. And it turns out it was unsolicited advice from someone I don't even know. <laughs> and I just, and I just absorbed that to the point that I stopped thinking about why I did it. And when I realized why I was doing it, I stopped doing that because <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't know that person from Adam. Why the flip am I taking their advice as, like, something I should literally be living my life by? F that. I'm gonna do what feels right for me. Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> and that's when I learned that backseating applies to art as well. <laughs> and if some, and you don't need to listen to creative advice if you don't think that it works for you. Um... Like, you can, you can ignore that. Um, but anyways, so, so there I was just, just doing very, very not as much variation in work that, um, I could have been doing for a really, really long time because one person said a thing and I was like, oh, maybe they're right. And then I guess just absorbed it so much into my head that I never thought to like interrogate it, which is honestly kind of wild but there you are um so that's a thing to be mindful of I guess yay anyways um huh. 
I don't think I am going to put superstar. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to leave any other, like, shadowy stuff for now and work on doing some line weight just because, um, just because I, I want to see, I want to see how, how we'll be looking with that. So I'm going to start with the bookshelves because the bookshelves are relatively easy in as much as they're all kind of varying shades of brown, which makes it relatively easy for me to kind of pick them out. I hope anyways. But also I, do, I don't want the, I don't want the line weight on these ones on like the bookshelves to be super strong, but I do want it to stand out enough. So, uh, let me give it a go, I suppose. How does this brown look? Starting with a totally random segment here. I debated whether or not I wanted to do actual, like, titles on these books, and I don't know if I want to get that granular. Um, partially because I can't think of titles for all of these books, because I don't know. Do I remember the names of any books? Um, listen, uh, I, let me just t t pay no attention to that literature degree. What's that doing there? Oops. <laughs> um, anyways, okay. Just going to fill in these line weights instead. Anyways, uh, Neo says that reminds me of a lot of the things I learned about my BPD. Hell yeah. Also, oh no, yeah. Anyways, sorry for that little uh, rambling, a little ramble on. But sometimes I, sometimes I just remember things, and it's probably better that than dead air. So, though I did while I was on BRB, my moderator slash spouse came came back in in the middle of it, and I was like, um, "Wait, wait, wait, what?" I completely missed that there's a book cover here that I didn't paint in. Um, ignore that for now. We'll come back to it later. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyways. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm glad I noticed it. I mean, I guess it could be conceivably be a book that's, like, turned out, like, pages outwards. Like, somebody just left it sort of the wrong direction. But uh, I don't like that. I don't like that because I want people to be able to see the cover on the book spine. Otherwise, they don't know what book it is and then they're not going to buy it. And I want whoever runs this independent bookseller to be successful. <laughs> Neo says, you're right. You should apologize as an entertainer. You have no business entertaining us. I am so sorry. Um, I want I want to apologize to all of my followers here on Twitch. I'm taking accountability, uh, and I will attempt to be better. Oh, I didn't cry enough in that apology. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna post an apology video crying about the fact that I didn't cry enough in my previous apology video. Um, that's how it works, right? Anyways. And, bop, 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 bop. It's okay if this line weight is a little bit sketchy and subtle. I just want to see if it improves it. Yeah, yeah I think it's all right. I think it's all right. Okay. And now that sounds like Droppy's April Fool's. Oh my god, I do not remember what, what they were apologizing for, but I remember it was just something so stupid. It was like... Was it just that, like, one of them just, that they were on stream and one of them just, like, did a really loud fart or something? I feel like that was the kind of thing that they were apologizing for in that uh, April Fool's video. <laughs> was something like, when we, were, when we were on stream two weeks ago, um, I did, and I'm really sorry about this, but I did a really loud fart and I just want to apologize for any hurt that anyone might have felt in the community because of this. It was it was something like that, I think. And it was just, ve it was very silly. Yeah, so they spun a whole story about it and put it, yes, yes, it got, like, increasingly ridiculous. Like, I, I don't remember, but it was, it, it started with, like, one of them doing a fart on the stream or something and just, just kept going from there. It was really stupid. <sighs> Good job, Droffy. Thank you. 
for existing. You are a good. Hokey dokey. Eh. This is scary. But again, I haven't, I'm not using a super strong concentration of paint here. Um, just because I do want this line weight to be fairly, fairly, I want it to feel defined, but a bit subtle. <laughs> Meanwhile, Julia was there like, like, I, what, what, or, for what? <laughs> uh, good times. I wonder what kind of, I wonder what kind of stupid April Fools will bring us this year. I will tell you right now, I don't ever do April Fools and I won't do April Fools. Um, I think generally at this, at this point in my life, I'm pretty good at spotting when it's an April Fool. I did appreciate the one year, apparently the website, I don't, am I allowed to say this website? Cause it's for grownups. No, this is a grown up stream. Fine. There was one, there was one year where for April Fools, the website Pornhub changed its front page to Cornhub. And it was just a whole bunch of video clips of like cornfields and, um, and like some, and, and, and just like, you know, sort of a, a, a pat of butter melting into like a cob of freshly, freshly boiled corn. Um, it was very, it was very cute. <laughs> it was just like, wow, this is some intense pornography here. Woo! <laughs> <coughs> oh, goodness gracious. Anyways. <laughs> oh, prawn hub, says Fox. Is that just, is that just nature documentary footage of how prawns make babies? I don't actually know how prawns make babies. Though speaking of making babies, I notice a lot of birds seem like they're nesting at the moment in my neighborhood. I saw some, I saw a couple of pigeons sharing a little kiss on, on the bus the other day. I was like, so cute. But I also averted my eyes because obviously they deserve a little privacy. Um, I saw, oh, I was blessed by the most beautiful pair of magpies at the bus stop this morning. They didn't get on the bus, so I'm assuming that they were waiting for a different, uh, a different service, um, going somewhere <laughs> other than where I was heading on the bus. Uh, but it was lovely to see them anyways. And, oh, some lovely, some lovely, uh, very, very beautiful Corvidy type buddy the other day was just, was in, was in, uh, a, a play park in my neighborhood, sort of just gathering up little bits and then flying off with them, presumably gathering good nesting materials. Ooh, I also saw a really, really sweet pair of pigeons just hanging out in a tree, also out the bus window at a different area. And I think that they were, I think they were like cleaning up that area of the tree to get it ready to build a nest in. Cause they were like, they were like, you, you know, using their beaks to kind of like trim like branches and stuff. It was very cute. Very, very cute. Makes me so happy. I want to draw some birds in love. That's what I want to draw. Um, so when this is done, I think I'm going to do some bird content is are y'all here for bird content because I like birds and I want to paint some more birds so I think there may be some bird content forthcoming I hope that's okay um Neo says there's a cherry tree right at the window that's blooming right now oh how lovely and so many bees and wasps and bumblebees and it gives me hope oh that is lovely I love that for you I love that you get to see cherry blossoms, which are so beautiful, and I love that the bees and the pollinators are having a field day with it. There are, um, there's a church, um, that's on one of my walking routes, and, uh, they have the, the church has some quite nice gardens outside. They plant a lot of lovely flowers and stuff, but they have these two big lavender bushes, and I absolutely adore in the summertime when the lavender is in bloom. Those two lavender bushes are just every day for weeks on end full of bees. And it makes me so happy to see the bees just sort of very, you know, being very active and gathering up all this stuff from, from the, um, 
from the uh, from the lavender bushes, and I have to imagine that that honey is delicious, and they I hope they're very much enjoying it because that's just oh so nice, so nice, and happy to see, and it makes me really happy. And bees are good. I love bees, and I love birds, and uh, if. If my if my sex education classes were correct when I was at school, the birds love the bees and the bees love the birds too in very special ways that I'm not allowed to talk about on Twitch. Anyways, that's how it works, right? Um, oh dear, Fox says that all, this also means it's Banks' bullied season soon because the local magpies do not like her mere presence during mating season. I guess to be fair... To be fair, when it's mating season, you probably do want a bit of, or, or nesting season rather, you probably want a bit of privacy. That's kind of personal, you know what I mean? Um, anyways, you mean it makes you happy to see this? This is Neo. Mm, bee. Bee, bee, bee. I do like bees. I like bees. I like birds. I love them. They're very good. Anyways, taking a sip of my genuinely iced coffee at this point. You can tell, you can tell I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this coffee because it's taking me so long to finish it. It's, um, it's not, it's not the best. I gotta say. This, ignore the fact that this bookshelf is super uneven and doesn't make furniture sense. I figure it kind of juts out here. I kind of feel like it's actually like two different bookshelves that they just kind of stacked on top of each other in the interest of like maximizing their space. Because I feel like that's something that that a bookshop like this would probably do, actually. So it, it tracks for me. That that's what's going on there. Um, you know what? Good for them. Why not? Okay. Anyways. Um, I was promised cake, says Archon. What? Are you sure? I've got biscuits. I've got biscuits in the, uh, in the other room. I've got some rich tea biscuits. I've got some ginger nuts. I have some either shortbread or Viennese whirls. I can't remember. Um... But yeah, it's just very funny, says Fox. Anyways, hi, Archon. How's it going? Welcome on. Mel told me there was cake. Mel! Mel, I haven't had time to bake. I have biscuits. Um, I've got some yogurt in the fridge and some fresh apples. Um, not sure any of that works. Oh, I've got hot cross buns. I do have hot cross buns if you, if you wanted a hot cross bun. Um, they're really, they're really nice. I mean, they're just, for, they're just supermarket own brand hot cross buns, but still, um, the supermarket own brand hot cross buns are good here. So, you know, um, anywho, Fox says, uh, it's just very funny as she's going along her business and the magpies are just screaming at her despite the fact that she's a terrible bird catcher. They don't, they don't know that. They just feel threatened. Poor creatures. Uh, but the young mag magpies go on to learn how to bully and also not to get too close if they do. But if they do, then they learn how to escape. Hell yeah. Um, Archon says, at Mel, wear cake. Aw, oh, jeez. I'm so sorry I did. I did. I don't have any cake. I'm so sorry. Um, do I need to issue a tearful YouTuber apology for the lack of cake on stream? Because I don't want to. <laughs> Because listen, I never said that there was going to be cake. That is, if you, if you, if anyone is disappointed by the lack of cake on this stream, then, um, that's, that's not my doing, frankly. Oh, that being said, I could show you, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Fox is checking on, Fox is checking on Kato's in the meantime. Hold up. I take it. I take it back. I take it all back. Hold up. Hold up. I can show you this painting I posted on socials last night because it was somebody's birthday. And so I, and so I painted Mo Mothman with cake because they like cryptids. 
Um, I need a heartfelt apology from Mel for lying. Well, here we go. Here's here's a painting of a little cake. Does that does, is that anything? I don't know if that's anything, but there's a Mothman with some cake. Okay. Anyways, I hope it helps. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe that's what Mel meant. I don't know. I really do not know. Um, but uh, allow me to make some more line color, and I'm going to take care of this book bookshelf over here. I've just made a slight, a slight variant brown for this one. And let's see if we can just give it a little bit of weight. I want to see how this looks um, with sort of it all lined in and then decide how much, how much additional tittle detail I want to add from there. But I think this is, uh, okay. Good start. Good start. I hope, hope it's a good start. Anyways, what's for dinner, Strim? What, uh, what are you having, having? What are you having for your evening meal? That's what I was trying to say. What are you having for your evening meal? What, what the flip was that? I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Anyways. Um... Yeah, what are you having for your evening meal? Uh, I'm having... Actually, I don't know. I know... I know half of what I'm having for... Having for... For my, my tea tonight. Um, which is a... A Spanica pita situation. But I don't know if I'm having some salad alongside? Yeah, I guess I'm having salad. Because I think the... Asper I've got some lovely fresh British... British asparagus, because the British asparagus is finally making an appearance in shops again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Methinks tis a springtime situation. If it's asparagus time, I'm so excited. I love asparagus so much. Anyways. But yes, I've got some lovely British asparagus, but I've also got some lovely... Just like raw salad. And I think I might do that with the Spanica pita. And I think that might be nice. I think that might be a pleasant situation. So I think that's what we will probably do. I haven't had Spanica pita in ages. So that'll be really delightful. Right. Time to make some minute adjustments to this shade of brown. So I've added in a little bit of the burnt ochre color. And I'm going to do this, this overhead bit here. Um, cause that is a slightly, slightly modified shade from this one. All of these different shades of brown dooting around in here. And I just want it to feel, you know, as it should. There we go. Okay. Anyways. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be nice. What, what y'all doing for your, for your evening meals? I would love to know. Because I'm nosy. <laughs> Anyways. I love the idea that there are just these sort of periodic, like, archways of books. Of bookshelves. Like, this bookshelf is up here, and then it sort of, like, just goes across the ceiling, and it's being bolstered by some bookshelves over here. So it's just like an arch. I think that's very cool. I've seen that in a few... I looked at so many pictures of so many different um, secondhand bookshops for inspo for this, for this one. Um, and this isn't, this isn't based on any specific secondhand bookshop in particular. This is kind of pulling elements of bookshelves from a whole bunch of different places. Um, cause I, partly because I don't want to just like, I don't want to just recreate a photo that already exists cause that's not cool. Um, but also because I don't necessarily want to tether this to a specific location in this case. This is just this is just more of a vibe. You know, compare and contrast with the time that I just painted uh, my favorite tube station. That was a fun set of streams. For me, anyways. I don't know if that was fun for anybody else, but it was fun for me. Um, I'm, I might... I'd love to do a, tubes, a more tube station 
and that kind of thing paintings. But I don't know if people are here for that. I don't know if people maybe prefer the like more fantastical content. Um but I don't know. There's some, there's something that does feel a little bit special, a little bit magical to me about spaces like bookshops. Um so I just lost my paintbrush. Eh, come back. Come back. I miss you. Okay, I got my paintbrush. We're okay. <laughs> but uh yeah, there's something there is something I think special about a bookshop situation. It just feels, I don't know, romantic is not quite the right word, but just um just very comforting and inspiring sort of in in that way and so I think it's nice to, to kind of celebrate it I suppose by just doing this funky little funky little homage I don't know I know not of whence I speak I'm just I'm just goofing around uh, Fox says more not to remove from Miss Scout. That's a cat, in case anyone's curious. Uh, before she decided she'd rather be in her own house during the rain. We have a dog house that we bought, and since her surgery, she's very much taken it as hers. Oh, bless. Well then, I hope she has a nice time just chillaxing, but I'm glad you got to get some, some progress done. My tea is very much cold, but it withstand innates being cold better than this coffee does, which I, I still think is just kind of... I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty open-minded when it comes to my coffees. I like a lot of different types of coffee. I'm not the kind of person who has like a really strong preference towards, oh, I only like washed processed coffees or I only like natural processed coffees or I really don't like X type of coffee. Um, but this is just, I don't know. This, this one is, this, this is, um, this one is not hitting for me. It's just, I think it's, I think it's a little bit dark for me. I think the roast is maybe a little bit dark. So it kind of, there's like a slight harshness to it that I don't love. Um, it's just a little, <coughs> There's not really, I don't really get a lot of nice, interesting tasting notes out of it. It just kind of tastes like roast. And most of the time I find that just a little bit boring. I like, I like being able to pick other notes out of, uh, other tasting notes out of a coffee than just roast. Um, I want to be able to taste, you know, does it have a chocolatiness? Does it have a bit of a caramel taste or a almondy notes to it sometimes I, lo I love when a coffee has sort of an almondy note to it or is it kind of fruity you know that's always pleasant but this just kind of just tastes like roast to me I don't love that it's fine but I don't I don't think I don't know if I would get coffee from this roaster again which is why I'm not naming it because I don't want to like shame them for having made a coffee that's not to my taste personally um I also got I also got a decaf from them and it is a very straight ahead sort of standard decaf I find a lot of the time I think I've talked about this on stream before but I find a lot of the time when I get a lot I think a lot of decaf coffees because most coffee roasters will do one type of decaf um, and to that end, they want it to be fairly, like, a fairly straight ahead, fairly agreeable coffee. They're not going to put all their sort of experimental flavors and processes into their decaf because it kind of needs to be something that anyone who wants or needs a decaffeinated coffee is going to find acceptable. And certain, there are certain things and certain types of coffee that are a little bit more experimental, a little bit more interesting, but to that end also potentially a little more divisive. You know, someone might not like that it's, you know, a bit more on the acidic side, a bit more of a lighter roast, a bit more funky or fruity or, you know, whatever it is that they've done with it. So, um, so yeah, it's, uh, <coughs> it's, this, this one is pretty mid. Um, but it's, it's fine. 
Uh, Sledge, my dearest darling moderator slash spouse's happy affiliate anniversary, apparently. Thank you, darling. Um, yeah, that just popped up as a thing for, for, for me, and I did not realize it was my affiliate anniversary, but apparently it is, so yay me, I guess. But, uh, but th thank you for the, thank you for the happy anniversary. I appreciate it. It's wonderful to be here. It's nice to be affiliated. I appreciate that sweet, sweet ad revenue. In the interest of transparency, in case you're curious, my average ad revenue per stream is something like 10 cents. It is not very much money. This may be in part because I don't run the rec the the recommended Twitch stream ad schedule is like three minutes per hour of stream, and I did actually try running there just like auto auto run three minutes of ads every hour, um, ad manager program, and I know some people who do it successfully and seem to it seems to go fine for them. When I did it, my ad revenue went up by quite a bit, but uh, every time an ad break ran, a whole bunch of people just left. And I was like, oh, if this is, if this is what is, you know, sort of the impetus for people to just, like, depart the stream, um, I'm not going to do it because... The ma I think the max that I was making per stream with this recommended ad schedule was still something like a dollar. And I'm like, that's not worth it if it's, like, alienating, you know, like, my my viewers and my, you know, like, followers and community and all that jazz. Or, you know, just the, the lurkers stopping by for one stream, um, it, you know, who are also great and I love that they're here. Um, if you are lurking, please know I really, really appreciate you. And I'm so glad that you're here and keeping us company. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but it seems like this, this, this method, uh, that is the Twitch recommended method was alienating some people. Uh, because every time I ran an ad break, I would notice that, like, oh, <laughs> the number of people watching the stream has gone down a not insignificant amount after the ad break ran. Huh. Maybe people aren't into this. Maybe I should not do it. And so I, I, I think I had it running for, like, two weeks, and then I was like, no, you know what? It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. And I stopped. And, um, I feel like I made the right call in stopping. <laughs> Uh, Sledge got the Wordle puzzle in three guesses. Congratulations on figuring out what the word was, sweetheart. I'm very proud of you. Alba says ad revenue is a myth. It is. It absolutely is. Unless, like, it really, I, I really think it's not worth running that many ads unless you're, like, the kind of Twitch partner that has hundreds of of people watching your stream at any given time, um, in terms of, like, what, like, the return that you get on it, um, but for, for someone like me, who has, like, you know, a handful of largely very engaged people hanging out on stream, um, at any given time, um, uh, it just doesn't seem worth it. And I'd rather not do that to y'all. So I do not. Um, I have one one break in the middle of the stream, which allows me a chance to go to the bathroom and sometimes an ad will run. And that's all I choose to do. Which also means that anyone who comes in after that point doesn't get pre-rolls for like 20 minutes. And I do apologize that the trade-off of this is that people do get pre-rolls, but I feel like... I don't know. I know that some people will bounce off if they get a pre-roll ad. I can't really help that because I do not have the choice to just not have ads on the stream. It'd be cool if I did, but I don't. So, <sighs> trying to make the best of a bad situation, essentially. And this is what I have found works best for me for the moment. Um, trying to decide how to deal with these books, because especially the ones closer to us here feel a little bit naked 
without anything on the covers, but I don't think I want to go the route of actually writing, like, entire titles and stuff onto them. So I'm just trying to think how I can maneuver around that. And the answer is a resounding, I don't know. So I think I'm going to ignore the problem for now and work from the back forwards. So I'm going to work on getting some line art all the way back here on some of these here book covers and hope that that goes okay. So I think I'll start with the ones that are blue. Why? I don't know. I saw a book cover that was blue and I said, hmm, yeah, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> Why don't I do that one? And here we are. So I'm pulling in the, I'm using entirely the like shadow black collection of paints for this. I don't know if I've watered this down too much now. Um, I guess, I guess we'll find out if it, if it is, if this paint is too watered down and we can't see the line weight, I will just redo it with a little bit more paint on. Anyways, uh, welcome back, Sen. If I haven't said welcome back, welcome back. Um, <laughs> lovely to see you again. I hope you had a nice break. I am line weighting the books. The teeny tiny little books. Okay, actually, I do think I want to put a little bit more paint onto here. Put a little bit more paint in it. Not a ton, but a smidge. Just to ensure it is visible. I also want to make sure that these lines are fine enough that I don't end up just repainting the entire book a darker color. <laughs> because guess what? These are very, very teensy. Oh my goodness, they're so, they're so small. They're too small. Jeez Louise, what am I doing? Heck. Oh, heck. Look at that. So little. Oh, goodness gracious. Why have I done this to myself? La 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 la. The answer, you know, I... I question myself. I say, why am I doing this? What have I done? Why do I, why did I think this is a good idea? I'll tell you exactly why fun. Because I find it fun. That's why. Because actually, believe it or not, I'm enjoying this. I'm having a good time. This is a nice thing to get to do. Is the, is the picture choppy for anyone else? Or is it just for some reason my playback is being a funky beast? Because... My playback is being a bit of a funky little so-and-so at the moment. It's being a little, a little bit janky. Like I looked up and I was like, huh, my hand's not there anymore. Why do I have my hand still there on the, on the, um, the stream software? So yeah, it's been being a little bit janky. I do apologize for that. If anyone else is seeing uh, the jank, uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, does anyone else have that thing sometimes when you're looking at something, um, that requires you to kind of focus on something that's quite close to, that, that's not very far away. Um, and your eyes do that thing where they just sort of like, something that requires concentration and being able to see the thing correctly. And your eyes just do a little sort of like judder for a second. Does anybody else get that? Or am I dying? Um, <coughs> I'm not going to look this up on Healthline because then I will become convinced that I'm dying. <laughs> I don't, I don't want that. Um, but I've had this for years. Every once in a while, my eyes are just like, uh, no, no, we're tired. Though, thankfully, my, my eyesight seems to still be pretty solid for looking at things that are, like, close up, um, and keeping them in focus. It is the things that are a little bit further away that tend to be, that tend to go a little bit out of focus for me. Um, but that being said, I don't often wear, wear spectacles for it anymore. Um, because it was more of an, it was more of an issue when I was a student and I was continuously having to read like slides at the front of a lecture hall 
and I wasn't necessarily always able to sit in the very front row of the lecture hall. And sometimes I don't want to because then I feel really conspicuous and perceived and I don't like that. Um, but uh, so so it was imperative for me to get my eyes tested when I was a student because I was noticing that, you know, the lecture slides were not in focus. But now it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter so much, you know, if, if the, like, you know, looking across the room, I can see what everything is, but if I'm like re trying to read a street sign from a distance away, I usually have to get a little bit closer for it to be in focus. But uh, I also don't drive, so that's not really an issue either. <laughs> Yay. Fox says, a little twitch is normal. That's what I tell myself. Hmm. Okay, good. Okay, good. I'm a little twitch channel. <laughs> Anyway, um, oh, this, this slim volume is going to be an interesting challenge. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That is one more row of blue books done. This is. You know how I said I was going to finish this painting, this stream? Well, I want to say that we've made some strides, but I'm not sure that's true. I might actually go slightly crazy and finish some of this off stream, because it's just been taking so dang long, and I think it would be nice to work on something else as well. I mean, I'm enjoying it, but... I used to feel like I used to feel like I had to, like, start and finish a piece within the same stream, and I'm very much not that anymore, but I still kind of feel like, you know, it's, it's nice for people to see finished artworks from time to time. Um, okay, there's a definite, there's a definite disconnect going on between what's happening with my hands and what's happening on my playback. That's really weird. Um, I just noticed it now, like, I, I had stopped painting and I was looking at my screen and my hand was still painting things and I was like, well, that's weird. <laughs> my moderator slash spouse says it's time to call it a night. I think it just, I think it might just be my, um, my, uh, software having a bit of a moment, um, but I would like to at least finish this. May need to stop and start, to be honest, due to the earlier issues. Mmm. Uh, I definitely don't want to stop, but what I might do is just reboot this little ding dong. See if that helps. Okay. Um, but, um, I'm going to be finishing fairly soon anyway, so I figure I may as well just keep on keeping on, because I don't really want to, if I disrupt at this point and try and troubleshoot, then by the time we have the issue sorted out, it'll be the end of the stream anyway, so may as well just push on through and, uh, hope for the best. There we go. There we go, and I hope that that is okay with y'all. Hey, little buddy. Oh, God, I wish that were me. Just being a little guy hanging out in a secondhand bookshop somewhere on our travels with my significant person. Looking for guidebooks to local bird wildlife. Which is exactly what this guy is reading right now. And I'm sure having an absolutely lovely time. I hope he's found something useful. Right. Um, this one here. This one here. I think that covers all of the books that are blue on this shelf. And it is the difference the, of what I have done is so flipping subtle, but there is one. Check it out. Yay. That sure is something. Uh, maybe let's do the green books. <coughs> and that might be all we have time for today. But uh, we shall see. I shall try. Grab some greenish black here. I'm actually going to add a little bit of the blue to it. Because this green is quite uh, murky. 
So make sure it's not too intense, but not too subtle either. It wants to be, it wants to be visible, but it doesn't want to be like crazy. Because I don't want to, these guys I'm going to, I'm going to get a nice bold line on and I don't want to pull too much focus away from that or them. This is a row of books. Someone, someone donated a full set of whatever this is to the bookshop. So there's just an entire shelf of these stout little green volumes. As for what they are, I haven't the foggiest. Probably some, some sort of nature, some sort of nature books, like nature guide books or something. Um... Because I'm, I'm, I'm envisioning this is like the nature section. And this one's looking at, ooh, I wonder what birds we might be able to spot locally. Might we see a pied, wag ta ugh, a pied wagtail? I'd love that for them. I love the pied wagtail. Have you seen a pied wagtail? They are the stinking cutest. They really are. Um, in fact, it's going to bother me if I don't share. Hold on. <laughs> one, one moment, please. Do do. I did paint a wagtail on stream once, but I painted a I painted a different subspecies of wagtail, and it was also um, it was also a um, oh this one's cute. Um, it was also uh, for Pride Month, so I actually painted the I painted it in the colors of the non-binary pride flag, so it was a non-binary wagtail, which was a lot of fun to do. Uh, but this is what the pied wagtail looks like. They are super cute, and they do indeed wag their little tails. Their tails go doot 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 doot. It is very, very, very cute. Um, I see them dooting around my neighborhood from time to time, and it just makes me so happy because I just love them. Um, I suppose, you know, it might be because I'm an immigrant, so, like, I didn't grow up with the birds that we have here, so when I see the birds that, apart from maybe, like, pigeons and seagulls, but, um, but, uh, when I, when I see the birds in the neighborhood, I just get so excited, because I'm just like, oh, look, it's a bobbin, you know what I mean? Uh, I saw a bobbin from the bus the other day, just barely, just barely saw a bobbin, but I could see its little, its little orange tummy dooting around in the grass and just made me so happy. <laughs> I love, I love a bobbin. They are so stinking cute. But also I love, I'm fascinated by the fact that we have robins in North America and we have robins here in the UK and they are completely different. Totally different birds. The only thing that they have in common is that their plumage is both sort of a brown and orange combo and they both have kind of orange tummies. That's the only di that's the only thing they have in common. They're a completely different species, but they're both called robins. It's very confusing. Um, see also the magpies that we have here in the UK versus Australian magpies? Night and day. <laughs> Absolutely night and day. Um... Maybe I should do a painting of, like, a European magpie meeting an Australian magpie. Magpie and magpie are friends. Oh, that'd be cute. Now I kind of want to do that. I think that'd be cute. Anyways, I do love magpies. I've, I've painted magpies before. Actually, I didn't... Again, I did magpies for Pride Month last year. Um... Because I thought that I thought that their plumage would adapt really nicely to the uh, aromantic and asexual pride flags, so I did uh, an arrow magpie and an ace magpie hanging out, being total BFFs. Um, that was that was a that was a fun piece to do as well, actually. I got to do a really nice sort of cityscape behind them as well. Um, but again, magpies are just real stinking cute. Happy Forg Day, everyone, says Jay. Happy Forg Day to you too, Jay. Personally, I think every day should be Forg Day. Every single day of the year should be Forg Day because I heckin' love Forg. That's Froggos to anyone who's confused and maybe new here. Um, we have a friend of the channel who is a Forg mage. His name is Terry. 
and he loves to drink tea and practice his magic spells. He's a he's a good little egg, he is. Forg day for me was Tuesday, says Jay. Oh. So Attention. Twitch user Sammy Kelsch. Kirsty. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Thank you very much indeed for the raid. How's everyone doing? Allow me to say hello. Welcome in, friends. Um, <laughs> oh, Fable, hello, welcome in. Displaced Salad, hello, hello. Kirsty, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. How was your stream? What'd you get up to today? Maggie, thank you for the happy affiliate anniversary. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hello, everybody. How are you doing? Casa, hello, welcome in. How goes? Hello, hello. <laughs> I am struggling to get chat to scroll. I thought that was yesterday. Every day is Forg Day now, Alba. Every day is Forg Day. <laughs> Game Shack, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you so much for stopping in. Hope you're having a lovely Thursday. Kiona, hello, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? Wonderful to see you as well. And Jam, hello, how are you? Happy Thursday. Hope you're having a good one. Hi, Rule. Hello, hello, welcome in. Hello. Thank you for the happy anniversary. Hello, Tals. How's it going? Wonderful to see you as well. And Sarah, hello, hello. And and Fox is holy heck. And holy heck to you too, Fox. And Sarah, hello, welcome in. Hello, friends. How's it going? Oh my god, it's a party, says Kirsty. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dodo Scout, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? Wonderful to see you. Welcome on in. Hello. Hi. Kirsty, how was your stream? So Kirsty says, I made mess with ink. Standard. Hell yeah. Love that for you. I did catch a little bit of the the Kirsty situation earlier on. It was very nice to see. Uh, making a mess with ink. Super awesome. As always, if there is any artworks that you would like to share with the class, Kirsty, feel free to whisper me a link or we can go do a creepy creep on your Instagram. Let me know. I would love to share. Um, <laughs> Fable says, happy and late anniversary. I will be lurking. Thank you very much for the lurk. Much appreciated. Uh, for anyone who's new here, hi. My name is Twitch user Sammy Kelsch. I'm a variety streamer. Uh, I stream art on Mondays and Thursdays. I stream cozy games on Fridays and occasionally on Sundays, but mostly on Fridays these days. Um, we are getting some line weight onto these bookies. Are they going to get done today? No. <laughs> I thought maybe, but no. Um, but we're still working on it and we're plugging away and I think it's starting to look a little bit more done, which is nice. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I'm a traditional artist doing mostly watercolors and other wet media, shall we say. <laughs> um, right now we're working on a little bookshop for funsies. Um, Kirstie says Insta is perfect. Oh gosh, should we, should we, should we have a little look, looky-loo at the works of the lovely Kirstie? I do believe we shall. Let me get a shout out for Kirstie in the chat as well. Friends, if you're not following Kirsty, you should go do that because Kirsty is a fantastic human being, very, very fun, uh, an amazingly skilled artist and an equally skilled game player of thing. Um, is, is much better at Hollow Knight than I am. I am humbled. Um, <laughs> but also just an excellent human being and a very fun person to hang out with. So go, go give him a follow. Go do it. Uh, anyways. Speaking of Kirsty, speaking of Kirsty, come on, come on, little darling, you know you want to do. There we are. There it is. Ooh, have I see. Oh yes, I did see this one last night. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not sure this is not so. Okay, so for context, Kirsty has taken on an entire month's worth of artworks uh, because it's Rain World Art Month, and Rain World is this lovely, very cool game I have not played yet, but looks so cool, and I really want to. Um, but is doing Kirsty's doing Rain World Art Month. And, uh, and has been doing uh, the, the daily prompts for the Rain World. And here is one of them. And it looks very, very cool. I love this. It looks... I am suitably intimidated by this little guy. Because that is a lot of bombs. Is this enough bombs? I'm sure you can never have too many bombs. But, uh, but still. In, in video game, just in case anyone's listening and is concerned... Um, not IRL in video games. I believe you to the Hollow Knight part says Kirsty. Hey, 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 listen. Anyways, um, 
But yes, if you're not following Kirsty, please, please, please go do because Kirsty is cool. Kirsty does super rad art. Here's some Hollow Knight art, in fact. Oh, the little guy just wants to frolic in the quote unquote snow. And you know what? I don't think we should. I, I think we should let them because my God, they go through so much Hornet. Hornet, seriously, your sibling has been through a lot and they deserve to just have a little bit of fun. This is so stinking cute. I love the fact that, like, their their face is literally just, like, two big, sort of, vacant, round eyes. And yet, with their physicality, you've given such an expressiveness to them. It's so, like, they look like they're just having a nice little fun time. I love it so much. <laughs> and then Hornet's face. This is so good. It's so good and I love it so much. And then this, this, oh my god, this is, so this is another Rain World piece and it's just, just gorgeous. Like, the lighting in this is amazing. It's beautiful. It just, it makes me feel like I need to play this game because you make it so heckin' beautiful. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm gonna get another shout out for Kirsty in the chat. Because there are two different ways I can shout out, so I'm gonna do both. Again, if you're not following Kirsty, go do that. Uh, and Kirsty, thank you again very much indeed for the raid. I really do appreciate it. You are a lovely person. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I should probably, for anyone who's new here and doesn't know what the heck my art looks like when I'm doing artworks, I should probably, I should probably share that as well, which I completely <laughs> forgot to do, but never mind. Here it is. Here's something I painted recently. Um, I've got a little project going that involves painting portraits of little guys. Uh, and so I did two little portraits of my, um, of my gnome husband's characters. Uh, that is husbands with a silent G, obviously. Um, but, uh, I like to think that they have these two portraits, like, framed and hanging, uh, somewhere in their house, like, um, like, you know, maybe sort of just above their, their, their bed, like, the head of, the headboard of their bed or something, or maybe in the, the front, the front corridor or whatever. I don't know. But it's so somewhere in their little cottage, they've got these little portraits hanging up. Um, because, because, yeah, anyways, uh, so that's, that's some of the kind of shenanigans <laughs> that I like to do. Uh, so many husbands, oh, this is, this is Kirsty. hell yeah. Hello, Joe, thank you very much for the happy, uh, it's affiliate anniversary day, apparently, uh, wishes, I appreciate it, I really do. Um, I did, I think I mentioned this earlier on stream, but I genuinely didn't know it was my affiliate anniversary until I went to go live today and there was a little doot in my chat being like, oh, celebrate your affiliate anniversary. And I was like, is that, is, is that today? Okay, sure. Why not? Why not? Cool. Thank you. Uh, Twitch, much appreciated. I had no idea. So here we go. Joe, Joe, I think... Joe, were you present for my very first ever live stream? Because I think you maybe did. I think you were maybe there for my very first ever live stream and witnessed just the absolute clustered flip it probably was. Um, of course, says Joe. The terrible, the terrible uh, Sherlock Holmes FMV game. <laughs> If you've ever played one of this type of game of that, of that era of like the nineties, you know, it is, um, so FMV stands for full motion video. So there's like live action video, like cut scenes in between bits of gameplay. And when I say bits of gameplay, it is very point and click. Um, but this was a Sherlock Holmes one, so there's little scenes of Sherlock Holmes and Watson and some someone comes into their little, you know, sort of apartment or whatever and is like, Oh, Inspector Holmes, I need you to solve me a mystery. And the accents are really questionable. Um, and the gameplay is frustrating. <laughs> it's just... It's just a whole thing. I will say shout out to, oh, what's the actor's name? Peter Farley, I believe his name is, who played Sherlock Holmes in that video game series. And if you go on to IMDb out of curiosity to see what Peter Farley's like other credits are, he's credited for Sherlock Holmes FMV game number one, Sherlock Holmes FMV game number two, and Sherlock Holmes FMV game number three. And I think it's tragic that he didn't go on to do more stuff, because to be honest, he was not bad uh, as an actor. 
Um, but, uh, definitely, definitely some very questionable English accents in that game. Um, definitely some questionable gameplay in that game. Uh, I seem to, I seem to remember it was the case that, like, it was one of those ones where you can have figured out the answer, but if you don't click on all of the correct things, it will tell you, no, you have to go back and do more, and then you just go and click through as many different bits of the game until you figure out which thing, which thing you hadn't gotten a cutscene for, and you get like, a million points, and they're like, ah, but sure, the real Sherlock Holmes would have gotten it in five points, and you're like, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. They're like, ah, oh, you did a bad job. Do you want to go solve the mystery again? And I'm like, no, I never want to do this again in my life. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> but never mind. Um, that is, that is a blast from the past, and I never need to do it again. Um, I did end up going back and playing the other chapters of the Sherlock Holmes games, um, and they were just as frustrating, frankly. So, yeah, that was a thing. Um, I think as far as, like, games I would like to play on stream, Attention. I'd love to play the- Attention, user Sammy Couch. Hello? Choppers. <laughs> Hello, Queen Kit Kat, how's it going? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, friends. Hello, hello. Allow me to rest my paintbrush for a moment so I can say hello. Kit Kat raid. Hell yeah. How's it going, Kit? Lovely to see you. Welcome on in. What were you up to today? Did you, uh, were you doing any nice artworks? Were you playing some games? Let me know. I'd love to hear all about it. Dave, hello. Welcome in. Rovi, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing, friends? Let me get a shout out in the chat for the lovely queen, Kit. That's not how I do a shout out. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. All right. There you go. There's a link to a kit stream. If you are not following, go, go do it. Go do it. Cat, cataclysmic cat. Hello. Welcome on in. How are you doing? <laughs> Lovely to see you. And Scarlet Dragonfly. Welcome. Welcome. How is it going? Lovely to see you as well. Welcome in. And thank you for uh, coming in, everyone. It's lovely to see y'all. My camera's being a little bit janky, so I do apologize if... My hands seem weird, um, but for anyone who's new here, hi, my name is Twitch user Sammy Kals from a variety streamer. I do cozy art streams on Mondays and Thursdays, do cozy game streams on Fridays, and sometimes also on Sundays, and uh, right now we are trying to get some line weight onto these here teeny tiny bookshelves way down the distance of this little bookshop, and it has taken some effort, but uh, thank you for the affiliate bursary uh, wishes as well, much appreciated. Um, but yeah, so that's the kind of thing that I do. Uh, Kit, if there is anything that you would like to share with us, any artworks that you are working on, or just go creep on your Instagram, uh, feel free to whisper a link in my direction, and I would love to share it with the class. Uh, in the meantime, here's... Allow me to demonstrate what's a recent artwork that I can share on here. Um, let's look at... Okay, this isn't super recent, but you know what? I was really happy with the way this turned out, so I'm going to make you look at it. Um, here it is. This is a little landscape I did a little while ago. Just a couple little guys uh, having a little toboggan trip down uh, down a mountain, as you do. Uh, probably on their way to go get some hot chocolates from the little ski village below, uh, which is a lovely time, and I love that for them. That's uh, some of the kind of content that happens here, I guess. Um, I'm a traditional artist. I do mostly... Uh, <coughs> mostly... I have started calling it like wet media because I mean like watercolor as well as things like acrylic inks, uh, a little bit of gouache sometimes as well, um, that kind of thing. So most of it tends to be pretty wet. Anyways, hello Gaijin, welcome in. How are you doing? It's lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. It's very nice to see you, my friend. Um, <coughs> Cataclysmic cats is all so cute. Oh, thank you, y'all. Y'all are too kind. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Um, but, uh, yeah, hope you're having a lovely Thursday, y'all. Hope you're having a good one. Hope it's all, hope it's all good. <laughs> uh, we're just, we're just making our way through this piece. I think there's, there's two other colors I need to finish in this area and we'll probably, well, I think we'll call it a day there because I'm going to need to go cook myself some dinner. Having, 
having Spana Capita this evening. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Nothing wrong with working with me- wet media, <laughs> says, um, says Gaijin. I wholeheartedly agree. Though that being said, it's been a while since I did a, um, since I did any, like, print block carving on stream and as much as handling sharp objects before a live audience is a little bit scary uh, I do know I am pretty well versed in like safety on that front and I'm happy to to speak to that as well um so should be fine um (laughs) famous last words I know but hey hey listen um I'd like to do that at some point uh, in the near future. I've got, I've got a couple of sort of vague ideas for what, what we might be able to do with, with a new print block. So I've just kind of been, I've, I've had a print block sort of hanging, just like a, an unsketched out one, just hanging out next to me, waiting for me to like draw something on it in my usual sort of sitting and chilling location. (laughs) Um, but I haven't, I haven't done anything with it yet. I should do that soon. Uh, I did have a question, question of the day for chat. Um, that I, I meant to ask again earlier, but I forgot. I forgot. But my question of the day for chat is if you were having like an instant noodle bowl type meal situation, what ingredients would you use to zhuzh it up? What would you put in there to give it a little bit of a, to give it a little bit of a zhuzh, to give it a little bit more character? What other ingredients would you like to add to it? Personally, I think I would be partial to a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a bell pepper. I like adding a little, if I have some, like, if I can finally shred some cabbage into there, I think that's really nice. A little bit of um, spring onions been mentioned a couple of times. I think that's a very nice idea. There's there's lots of things you can do. And this this came up because this came up because someone got an ad for pot noodles um, at the top of the stream. Almost any savory meal gets better by adding fresh chives, says Neil. Oh my God, chives! Yes. <gasps> chives are so good oh ever so delicious love that idea mm, excuse me hell yeah chives are fantastic oh good well I can hear whatever music my um <laughs> my neighbor's listening to right now yay uh, Robi says I always snip some green onion tops for my patio oh that's so nice I love, I love just having like a plant that you can just draw from when you want to have a pleasant, uh, a pleasant situation, like food situation. That's, that's so nice to have. It really is. Um, I love that for you. Hell yeah. Okay. Is that colorful enough? Is this going to work? I'm going to try it. Anyways. Um, oh, yes, it was Fox who got the ad for pot noodles. I don't think I've ever seen an ad for pot noodles on here, so I had no idea what it, what it would be like, but, uh, census, hello, hello! Thank you very much for the happy affiliate anniversary, much appreciated. Hope you're having a lovely day. Scarlet the Dragonfly says, cheese and ham. Ooh, ooh, cozy, delightful, love that. Um, I always read red pepper flakes, says Rovai. Even Maruchan suggested a slice of cheese, just a thing of craft singles. That's I've never put cheese in my in my noodle bowls. <gasps> that sounds like that sounds very comforting. Um, I never don't visit the garden when cooking, says Rovai. Oh, I'm so jealous. I have a I have a Greek basil plant that's currently trying to die. It is getting there. Um preemptive rest in peace, Yanis. You you have been very you have been very generous with your your leafage, but my God, these plants were not built <laughs> for a damp British winter. I mean, he is a Greek boy, so you know he probably wants more sunlight than we get here. Um, Census is having an okayish day. Think about to break up with a not boyfriend boyfriend. Oh, geez, I hope it all works out in the end. However, that may shake out for you. Um, I hope that whatever ends up happening is 
a step on a path to where you should be happy and feel good. So I hope he's understanding. Oh, geez. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll all work out for the best. And I wish you, I wish you good luck with that. I am gonna, okay. I'm gonna do these sort of orangish bookies. With a slightly orangish... Oh my god. Mr. Neighbor has no concept of indoor volume levels. <laughs> With all due respect, which is not a ton. Um, shush. Some of us are trying to stream, and that music they're playing may be copyrighted. <laughs> I don't want to get a copyright strike for the tiny amounts of tinny bass you can hear potentially from the neighboring flat boom boom, boom says uh, senses yeah exactly you you can hardly hear it okay fantastic because it is i can hear it and i don't like it because you know it's not it's not the same as when you're actually in the room because from here all i'm hearing is sort of like it's like just dial it down a little bit dial it down. And if you can't hear it because, like, you can't hear very well, speak to an audiologist, number one. Or number two, use a pair of headphones. Just... <sighs> like, this, this, you know, so like, this is, this is someone who, like, keeps their volumes up to such a level that I do wonder if, like, maybe you should just... If you are needing to maintain this volume level in order to hear stuff, you need to talk to an audiologist because you may be experiencing hearing loss. Um, I have a family member who is a former professional in the hearing, like, care industry. So I'm very versed in what, like, safe and healthy volumes are for things. And they are lower than... Certainly lower than what I'm hearing from... Uh, from my neighbor. <laughs> Anyways... Um, uh, Kit says, my neighbor plays loud music on their back patio on the weekends. It's a thing. Oh, joy. I used to, you know, I used to have a neighbor who did that. Um, I used to have a neighbor who did that when I was living back in the old country. They would just have like barbecues every weekend and it was so loud. Um, and I would just, if, uh, there, there came a point when I would eventually just stick the radio on and kind of like blast it from my own window like back at them anyways i noticed we did get an artwork to look at from uh kit so uh let's do that now before i forget but check it out this is gorgeous <coughs> oh excuse me um <coughs> the cough was unrelated i just i just have been talking for a really long time but this piece is beautiful i especially love how the flowers are coming along like the the fo I, I was gonna say the plumage that's the wrong that's the wrong category of nature. <laughs> the uh, the foliage in this is coming along really, really beautifully. And what a lovely, lovely creature as well. Oh, I just want to give them a little nose boop, but I don't know if I don't know if they like having their nose booped. So I will I will just admire them from a respectful distance. But my goodness, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. Looking really, really good so far. I love the textures you've got on these leaves here in the foreground and on the flower petals as well. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. It is lovely. Very, very lovely. Um, but no, <laughs> my art cameras did hold up. Ah, beans. One moment, please. Ah, uh, it was inevitable. It doesn't happen every stream, but it does happen from time to time. Um, so let me just, uh, let me just rerun this real quick. Plop, plop, plop. There we go. Uh, camera. And... Here we go. This, this, should, this should bring us back. Nope. It's in... It was in portrait rather than landscape. Let's try it again. Okay. We should be up and running. It's not up and running. Rude. Okay. Gonna have to try again. Hold up. Uh, if this doesn't work, we may need to finish for the day. 
I'm going to try actually just force quitting out of that rather than just closing it, just in case it was still running in the background, being a silly so-and-so. And then pull that back up, pull this back up, hope for the best. Come on, you little ding-dong. Hell yeah. Okay, we should be back. We should be back now. Um, yeah, we're back. Okay, sweet. Yay! <laughs> oh, thank goodness for that. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop a link to the Discord, because I don't think we've had a link to the Discord in a while, just in case there's anyone, uh, here who wants to join the Discord who's not in the Discord and would like to be, uh, you can do that. There's a link there in the chat. Hey, Silly, welcome back. Hello, hello. We are, uh, just, just finishing up these little book covers here at the back, trying to make them as cute as I can. And having some minor technical difficulties in the meantime, as you do. Anyway. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Oh, Kit says I live in a townhouse, so, ooh, yikes. Heck. Heck. Those, those adjoining walls, you gotta love it. Um, <laughs> I don't know how long ago Kirsty rated, but hello, Cecily. It's been, it's been a little while, but don't worry about it. It's lovely to see you. Welcome on in. Hope you had a good being elsewhere time and it's nice to see you all right i think my brush is drying out a little bit so allow me to correct this maybe pick up a little bit more bent okie dokie and just get some just a good bit of weight onto these little bookies this is just genuinely Genuinely a little bit crazy. <laughs> Unstable one, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the affiliate anniversary wishes as well. Thank you, thank you. Um, I did not know that my affiliate anniversary was today, so I did not plan a special event for it. Uh, and I do, I do apologize for that. But hopefully y'all have had a nice time just watching me add line weight to this painting. <laughs> Had pasta and walked dogs, says Silly. Oh, that sounds really good. That sounds really, really good for realsies. Love that for you. Okay. Making up a little brown. A little brown for my brown books, because there's a couple of nice dark brown tomes here that also need some lines. I think I think that will do for all of them. I think that's the last color I need to do. Which is good, because as soon as we're done here, this little streamer has got to go cook dinner. And I'm very looking forward to having a Spanica pita and salad situation. I mean I'm not too I'm not too concerned because um it's a very simple meal in as much as the Spanica pita is in the freezer and all I have to do is cook it. Um, just, just pop it into the oven for the recommended amount of time. Do a little salad on the side. Ooh, maybe add some cucumber to the salad. We've got some of these little, we've got these little things that they call bacon crumbles, but they, they're not real bacon, which is a vegetarian I appreciate because it means I can eat them. But basically they're just like little tiny crouton nuggets, um, that are bacon flavor, which is very weird. But they're effectively just croutons that are bacon flavored. Um, but as a vegetarian, I appreciate that because they have that slight, slightly smoky, salty flavor. Um, and uh, and yeah, we can't find them at our local supermarket. So so we get them if, if we're in the center of town and we happen to find them, we'll pick up like three bags and like hoard them. So that's what we're doing right now. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> Neo says it's a wonderful stream. Oh, thank you, my friend. I'm a serial lurker, says Unstable One. Hell yeah. Love that for you. Uh, I, listen, I lurk in a lot of streams. <laughs> I am not nearly this chatty when I'm not actually live and required to talk to people. <laughs> Oh, hello, hello, snails mail. Thank you very much for the affiliate anniversary wishes. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Heart hands. Heart hands. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, those are good, says Neo. Neo knows what's up. They are delightful, aren't they? Mm-hmm. 
Sorry for the sip sounds. I do apologize for that. Um, right, there was one right next to this this little guy's elbow that I, I noticed hadn't been did. I think... I think that's just about it for the books behind these little guys. Oh my goodness gracious. Just going to pop a little bit of lineage here because whatever there was was not super visible I think oh wait I missed one I missed one as is very often the case I missed one <laughs> anyways um but uh but yeah here's so here's what the the books at the back look like those are done the little guys are not done not, neither are any of the other books. I still don't know what I'm going to do with these book covers in the front. I might just do some vague allusion to having titles, but not actually writing titles out, because I don't think I want to get that granular uh, into the detail of it. But they do look a little bit naked just because we're so close to them. So I'll, I'll try and figure out something to do with these. But um, I think I'm going to call it there for today, because I've been doing this for a long time and I'm very tired. And I do need to... Um, I do need to go feed, feed myself and my person, but I've had a really, really nice time. I've had a lot of fun working on this. Um, I think I might do a little bit of it off stream, so we might finish it on Monday or it might already be done depending on my, <laughs> depending on how, how overzealous I get with, with working on it. Um, you could fit a few various references, says Tilly. I know, I know. I don't know what I want to do with it yet. I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but I really want to finish this painting because <laughs> I've been working on it for so long that it's just, uh, it's just going to be so anticlimactic when I actually like finish it and post it online and stuff that I'm kind of, I'm kind of nervous about that now because I know if it's like any other piece of artwork that I post, it's going to get like 20 likes and then disappear into the ether, which is always a little bit anticlimactic when you've been working on something for a cumulative month at this point. So, you know. <laughs> Heck. Anyways. Uh, Gaijin says, love you, Sammy. Oh, I love you too, my friend. Uh, look after yourself. You too. Glad I managed to catch him. This so chill. Oh, no, you. It was lovely to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I am going to have a little look-see if there's anyone that we can do a happy little raid on today. Let me see. I do not want to wish myself a happy affiliate anniversary, Twitch. I, I'm aware of it, and I've already internally uh, wished for myself, but thank you for that. Um, what I shall do is see see who's around, who's doing some stuff, who's doing something fun, something silly and cool, who's someone that we haven't raided in a little while. Ooh, there's someone we haven't raided in a little while. Okay, I'm going to set a generic raid message. Um... I'm going to send us, you know what? I'm going to send us in the direction of a game stream because I can. And sometimes this is a game stream. And also this person is a person who is very fun and cool. So there's a generic raid message in the chat. Feel free to grab the generic raid message if you want to. Actually, I should probably make sure that this person isn't just about to end. Let me just, let me just absolutely make sure that they're not just about to end because that would be real embarrassing. Uh, no, they started three minutes ago. Okay, that is perfect. <laughs> All right, so we're raiding Tauntaun. If you are not familiar with the Tauntaun, um, Tauntaun's very, very cool and a fun person to to hang with. And I think I think you'll enjoy Tauntaun's vibes. So I'm going to send them in the direction of... It sees silly. It's like, Tauntaun! Yes, you know, you know, Tauntaun is great. So I'm going to send you all in the direction of Tauntaun, who's doing some game today. Uh, I think it's going to be a very, very fun time. Um... And I want to thank you all again for hanging out today. <laughs> I want to thank uh, the lovely, lovely people who raided, who hung out, who lurked, um, who who did very kind things and were nice and and were, were here. You're all breathtaking. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been a really nice stream. We didn't get as much art done as I'd hoped, but that's always the case. <laughs> but we did get a reasonable amount done. And I am going to finish this painting. By hook or by crook, I will. But in the meantime, um, yeah, feel free to grab the raid message. If you have the emotes, feel free to grab the emotes. If you don't have the emotes, feel free to just say generic raid message. It's all good. 
Um, in any case, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. I hope you have a good weekend. I'll be back on Monday doing some kind of artwork, maybe finishing this, maybe starting something else. I don't know what yet, but, um, yeah, you're all breathtaking. Hope to see you again soon. And thanks for watching everybody. Goodbye and good night.